Well met, traveler. Would you care to hear a fable? One of empires. A sea of starlight. And pirates. See, I know a ship in need of a captain. That might just be you. Will you roll the dice? With a crew of marauders, the brave and the bold You'll always have a place in the island of Drake's And we'll be at your back when your life is at stake We bow to no empire, we'll rain down with hellfire We have room in the brig, if you'd please be our guest We don't throw in with factions, we have but one attraction And it's take what we want and we'll hang all the rest We'll cling to the mast and we'll fight back the Aris till we're down to the last. For the Caroline's blunder, we'll throw them asunder. For we hoist up the sails and this outward we cast. Treasure beneath her, take a share of the loot and good fine, fortune and fame. Fine, fine, when you surfers make trouble, fine, we'll reduce them to rubble. Raise a flag and make them all remember your name. Through the waves or the maelstrom, you will find the crew is strong with our freedoms at stake. I will look for the gallows, for the starry sea swallows, all the wreckage of ships that we leave in our wake. So what will it be? Yeah, sorry. We just watched you an ad, but the music was so good. And I have been watching this ad nonstop uh, for like half an hour. <laughs> um, anyways, um, that, that is not a game, actually, of the music that we're listening. It was for a Dungeons & Dragons setting. Yeah. Yeah, hi! Wow, 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 look at this. See, Bear, thank you so much for your subscription. Hey, hey, Mateus. Hey, 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 everybody. How are you guys doing? Uh, you guys saying I look comfy? Okay, so, so, you look, you look. Hi, 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 Evelyn, hi, hi. Thank Hello, you so much. Know. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so, so, this coat, okay, this coat, I got it yesterday or the day before. And yesterday, it was so hard for me to not start the stream wearing this because this coat is actually part of a sponsorship. And the sponsorship didn't start yet. But I really wanted to wear this coat because this is so soft. This is so nice. And I feel hugged all the time. And it's so cozy. And, and it's just like, oh. So, so I can share with you guys what it is. But but soon we'll have a sponsorship about this. But 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 it is just so nice. I couldn't wait in using it. I hope you understand. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh, it's talking me soon, 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 soon. soon. <laughs> as soon as I have this stuff to share with you guys, I will. But I just could not resist not wearing this. Ah <laughs> oh, so are you guys having a good day? Also good music! Hold on, let me reopen the game. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you guys having a good day? Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm happy to see you. I am having a good day. You know I'm having a good day, Valis You know I'm having a good day. I, I, well, boo, yes, there's a bunch of things. But what actually shifted my mood was sponsor, but I... a sponsorship. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys ever heard. Well, since a lot of you guys like Dungeons and Dragons, um, I assume you guys probably have heard of XP level three. Ooh. The music is amazing in this game. Of course. <laughs> yeah, so, so. It's Mole Bunny! Mwah. So, so. Ah, this is amazing. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
let me let me explain to you guys. Um, no, I I I didn't play Last Epoch yet. Well, I played very little to to know if I would want to stream it, but I didn't play much. So I watched uh, a video of X Peach Level Three, but but the video is irrelevant because here's the thing. Uh, I I got a sponsorship for 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 a video that's coming on a, uh, on my YouTube channel. And uh, it's a sponsorship for something that I really like and I really care about. And and I was just thinking because there is one video of X Peach Level 3 that he's so excited and he loves what he's talking about so much that just makes me happy. So so it's it's an ad for a Kickstarter that you cannot buy anymore. <laughs> so, so it's not actually an ad anymore, right? Because you get it, right? You get it. But, but, but just listen to it. Just, just listen, listen to, to this. You, okay, I know a lot of people are just going to skip past this, but if there's anything that's going to get you on this last day of this Kickstarter, which is basically a uh, Ghostfire's version of Spelljammer, it, it's all really great. Listen to the trailer music. It is so, it, it is so hype. It is so hype. It's so good. Just listen to it. Just listen to it. We don't throw in with factions. We are but one attraction. And it's said what we want to I got to get in on this. I'm, I'm getting in on this. <laughs> Fast. We'll cling to the mast and we'll fight back the iris till we're down to the last. For the Caroline's blunder, we'll throw them asunder. For we hoist up the sails and it's downwards we cast. Oh my god! Go, go back and. Oh my god! Wasn't that so amazing? There is something so exciting and chilling that 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 that, that when somebody does something that they really love doing it, and 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 that's what made me happy today. That's it. That's how I talk. Great singing, right? So, so this is from uh, X Peach Level Three. Here, I'll send uh, the link of in chat. If you guys don't know X Peach Level Three. Um, I, I don't know him personally, but I think I have watched all of his videos, some of them multiple times. So if you like Dungeons and Dragons and things like that, he's excellent. And as you can hear, he's a very passionate person that really likes what he does. So I have the feeling you guys like people like that. Did the winter start in my room? No. <laughs> No, no, but it's just so cozy, so cozy and comfy. As you can hear, he's also a very good singer. Yes, he is. He is. He is. <laughs> you see, Boo? Hey, Boo. Yay. Oh, oh, Boo, come say hi. Let's listen to Last Epoch because th the music was getting so hype as well. Holy bunnies. You guys having a good day? Hope you're having a good day. We'll start playing in a second. Oh, I just wanted to share with you guys the things that made me so happy today. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Is Jean in this game? I don't think so. I don't think so. Ah, gosh, Pelican view. Nice, nice. Did you guys have a good day? Happy? Oh, thank you, Trafferin. Thank you. Boo, Boo is naturally gorgeous. I hope you guys had a great day. Okay, so when it comes to games, 
I think that a big start of me liking a game a lot is it having good music. And I think we're off to a good start. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hold on. So, do you guys want to play online? Let's try playing online. Okay, so I created two characters an acolyte and a rogue. But let's just see what are our options. I like music. I, I I actually I don't have one specific style of music. I like uh, I like classic music. I like I like any kind of music as long as it it has like you know it makes you feel like it has something more to it. You, you get it, right? Yes, I like music that's good. I don't have like a style for it. I, I, there's a lot of things that I like in rock. I, I would say I would, in my, overall in my life I have listened to mostly rock. Because of my dad's influence. But I like anything that's good. Yeah. Okay, so Last Epoch is a game in the style of Diablo. But unlike Diablo, that probably will be good four years from now, this game seems to already be good. So I got curious. <laughs> um, so... Gadhar, thank you so much for the three months. Thank you, thank you. Is it hard for you recommend? Wait. The servers are down right now? You know what? I think gamers should go outside more. Especially when game releases come out. That's the perfect time to go to the movies. That's the perfect time to go anywhere. Quincy! Hi Quincy, how are you doing? Did you have a good day? Quincy, do you know XP to level 3? I was watching one of his videos and... I, I actually just played a little bit on the stream and I just... I just... That guy is awesome. <laughs> I think I have watched every single one of his videos. You tried going outside once a week is enough? I get that. Me too, Vlad, me too. Okay, so what classes we have? This is base class Sentinel. Mastery, Void Knight. That seems edgy. Forge Guard. And Paladin. This definitely reminds me of the Paladin. Cool. Cool. Sir Buttface, I don't have a problem with microtransactions as long as they are in cosmetic nature and not pay to win. So here's the thing about a game like this. Here. A game like this. Oh my gosh, it's Halsin! Yeah! So a game like this that provides content updates constantly they need to make money regularly so they can keep paying their dev team so content comes so this game would be similar to path of exile in character and path of exile is my top three most played game yes there is a lot of microtransactions but they are all cosmetic they don't make you better or worse in the game if you never play and the devs do need the money to keep developing the game path of exile has has introduces, introduced basically an expansion of comp content every few months to the, the people for the last, I don't know, 10 years. 
a while. So, so those people need to get paid somewhere. So microtransactions by themselves, I don't have a problem with them. I don't like when microtransactions become exploitative. That there is a very, very different problem. But just because something has microtransactions doesn't mean it's exploitative. So everything has a degree that you need to see. Yes, sir, but face me too. I agree with you and I understand where you're coming from. But in this case, I checked the shop and it's just mini pets that follow you, don't collect loot or anything. It's just things that make your character shine. Uh, wings and shit. Honestly, why the fuck do people buy wings? I find the wings to be the most tacky and obnoxious looking fashion item in gaming. And it looks, you always look like a carnival clown. Anyways, <laughs> if you like that, it's your character. It's up to you. But usually the expensive shit in this game is fancy flying shiny wings because people love that shit it's fine if you believe i have an incorrect opinion that's why we're interesting people we're different people <laughs> i would never pay for wings but if they added in game a little bunny that followed me around and just looked like a bunny i would buy that <laughs> it's my money i do whatever i want with them oh god <laughs> Rainy winter. Thank you so much for the two months. Thank you. Yeah, I I don't know. I I personally don't like when my characters shine or anything like that. I I I like to see the texture in my armor. I like to see the details. You guys saw when we were watching the the trailer. Hey, Sunsun. Thank you. Happy Friday. Pay two wings. <laughs> Oh god. Oh my god. Thank you, Sun Sun. Thank you so much for the three months. Hold on. Safar. So Safar. So Can I be honest with you? I don't think Path of Exile should be a free game. And if the payment you give the game. Is buying bank slots so you can carry and hoard your shit. <laughs> uh, again, it's just that Path of Exile. I think it's a free game because mostly because people wouldn't try it initially because they didn't know about it. So it was a good way to get people to know something otherwise they wouldn't try. But I do believe that that game is worth some money. And in fact, I often stay away from free games. Because if something is free, there is usually something sketchy about it. Because people need to make money somehow, so they live. So... I'm usually scared off by free stuff, a lot of times. I know, Path of Exile does defy reality with how often... You know, we are talking so much about Path of Exile... <laughs> yeah, exactly, Rune. So, so, you know... Anyways. Whatever Path of Exile did is is doing good because they're running a game and they're updating the game so much for so long that I'm happy it's working for them. Uh, so this is the type of game I usually not play on stream, but I have grown up, I, I grew up playing this kind of game. Uh, I, I, I was three years old when my dad started getting me to play Diablo. Uh, the thing about Path of Exile is just that I have, Path of Exile is my top, is in my top three most played games on stream. I have more than 1,000 hours in that game, and I'm a completely dumbass noob. The game is very, very complicated. Very deep. Very 
very intricate. <laughs> and so far, from what I have seen from last epoch, last epoch apparently takes some of the things that I love the most about Path of Exile. Without too much of the overly complex things. So, I wanted to try Last Epoch because of that. Because it's the kind of game that I like. And it seems to be not overly complicated. It's like Diablo, Diablo is way too simple. That it kind of like loses its substance too fast. Path of Exile is on the other extreme. That's very deep. Sometimes way too deep. And Last Epoch seems to be like a good compromise. So I'm curious about it, and I wanted to play it with you guys. <laughs> Hashtag. Uh, can you ask me where you got this hoodie? It looks so cool. Lamb Wolf. This is actually an item of clothing that I got for sponsorship. The sponsorship is not ready. I don't know what they want from me. I don't know if I will have a tracking link that will track how many things you guys get from that. So I cannot tell you. But this looked so amazing and so cozy. And I just couldn't wait until they gave me the sponsorship stuff to use it. So I'm using it. You can't stop me. <laughs> so I can share it. But, but hang in there. We share in a few days. Gee. <laughs> yeah, but but here's the thing with the sponsorships I accept. It's usually things I believe in or I wouldn't be accepting them. Because you guys know I'm very passionate and I feel like you would know. I think it's very obvious to you when I don't like something. And that's a good thing. <laughs> uh So there is one problem with this game. I wish you could gender swap the classes. Like, I wish... Because there is something about in this game... I don't play... I don't mind playing as a male character. But in games like this... I always preferred playing as the girl character. So, this is the first thing... I don't think you can. Does anyone know if you can? I really wish you could. Because... I will be honest with you guys. Diablo 2 is probably the game I most played all my life. I played that game... For an amount of times... That wasn't calculated, but I would say it's above the 20,000, 30,000 hours. I played Diablo 2 so much that... Of course, at the time that I was playing, it has been many years. You could tell me the name of a magical item, the blue item, and I could tell you the stat range. Because I knew every single prefix and suffix of every magical item in that game. Of course, I knew every unique item, I knew every rune, I knew everything. I was literally a walking encyclopedia, encyclopedia of D Diablo 2. And I never played any of the male characters. I would only play as Amazon, Assassin, and Sorcerer. So... <laughs> to me, it's a big deal, okay? It just... I don't know why. Jait, Bear, Enigma. <laughs> there are some things that I... There are some things I still remember, but most of it I forgot. What's the name on the Assassin set? Uh, Natalia? Did I remember right? <laughs> a five! There's a still a few things that I remember. Um, no, Natalia is not Amazon. Natalia is a random NPC that showed up in Act 3 for the first time in Diablo 2. And I loved that NPC. I loved how she looked. So when they released the Assassin as a playable character in Diablo 2 expansion, I was thrilled. So I could never have forgotten that name. I'm a big ass nerd.
My favorite quest of Diablo 2? Hmm. I don't... I don't know. There's a few quests that are memorable. Of course, Tristam. I love doing the barbarian quests. Um, I... I can tell you my favorite cinematic. My favorite cinematic of all of Diablo 2 is when... Um, when... Uh, Ball reveals to Marius that he is not Tyrion and that he's Ball. I just find like the music, him walking and the rats cr running in front of him, the fire behind him. I find that cutscene to be one of the most chilling and amazing cutscenes I have ever seen. Yes, I just love that. Wait, you got my tracking link for, for this? Okay. Okay, perfect. Can you make a command? Thank you. Okay, you guys, you guys were asking me about this. I don't know what else I have to do for the sponsorship, but at least the tracking link is in, in chat. So you guys can check that there. All I can tell you is that it's really soft and it's really good. <laughs> so, so if you want to be cozy, oh God. So cozy. Thank you, thank you. It's also 10% off. Cool. 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 And I think they ship everywhere. I mean, if they ship to Brazil. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's very nice. It's very nice. Yo, yo, hi, hi. Uh, let's play as a falconer. Or do we play... As an acolyte, necromancer, lich, and a warlock. Hmm. I'm really tempted. I like necromancers. Falconer is super fun. Hmm. Shit. Falconer. I, I don't know. I do think the necromancer is more my style. The Falconer... You guys know... Zizarin? He's a friend of mine. And he actually... Participated in the release of the Falconer. And he actually recorded with real Falcons. And, 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 and it was so fucking cool. So... That's why I'm tempted towards Falconer. Do you guys have the link for the Ziz opening? I, I, I'm down for both, you know? Falconer is pretty good. Hmm. Oh, man. But she looks like an edgy teenager. And that's how I feel in my heart. She looks like Michael Jackson? No, she has a nose. Just because she has black hair? <laughs> you know what's funny, Acklin? The pink and pastel background. When I was 12 years old, my mom, I threw a tantrum. It was late at night. My mom had changed my bed sheets to be all pink. I had a mental breakdown. Mom, I hate pink. Pink sucks. I want everything black. <sighs> yeah. And then my mom was like, Okay. And she actually got me black bad sheets. But it was just a phase. Now I definitely like black. 
But I love pink too. <laughs> but I did have my emo phase. And if you scroll down my Twitter, you can see some of my emo pictures. They were very, very emo. Very, very emo. <laughs> the emo years, they always come for us. Always. Always. I don't know, she also kind of looks crazy. It's relatable. Metal, I don't think emo is cringe, you know? It's just that when you're a teenager, you have your hormones all over the place and you feel so misunderstood, like life is hell. But then you realize you're just being a drama queen because, you know, your hormones are fucking with your brain. But it's not really cringe, it's just part of life. <laughs> Yes, Richard, but I feel like sometimes when you have so little perspective, I feel like high school is such an intense time, you know, because you don't have much to compare to in life. So every little thing that happens, it feels like it's the end of the world, but it's not. People are very resilient. Okay. Mato peasant. I've been around you for a while. I would say you're overusing the cringe word or you're using it inappropriately. I don't think you're cringe. There's a lot of cringe people around the world, but you're okay. You know, you're fine. I wouldn't describe you as that. Okay, fine. I'll go as rogue. If we don't like, we just swap. We just try. We just try. I love the music though. You still think my chemical romance is amazing? I don't. It hurts my head to think of, about my chemical romance. But I do like that Helena song. And I had a crush on that guy. The, the, the singer? Yeah, I don't know. I just like how he did his, his eye makeup. I wish I could have done mine that good. <laughs> yeah, well, to be fair, I didn't, I didn't listen to their recent music, you know, but maybe I would like it. I don't know. Again, it just has been a long time. I probably I've never been this far from the slums. I have never Looking been this far now, from the slums. Time to leave Majelka behind me. Wait, sorry, the volume was very low. Is this better? Did you guys hear the voice? No, 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 no. At the time, I loved my chemical romance. No, don't get me wrong. It's just not the kind of thing. I just haven't heard a song from my chemical romance in like a long time. Okay. Uh, Eva! Panic. 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 I should probably set my hotkeys. Hey, hey, just in case, hey! Skip on the new music and throw on the old stuff, it still bangs. I, I just... A oh, bunny! Oh, it's a little bunny! It's so cute! It's so cute! Uh... You didn't yet have any server... Kill. What does this do? Hold on. Bower melee attack that performs three rapid strikes. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. 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 That bunny is actually a Diablo. No, that bunny is actually the bro the butt. Hold on. Uh, furry? No, I'm not a furry. I'm not a furry. No, I'm sorry. Rule 34 states that if something exists, there is porn of it, right? Mm -hmm. 
Never mind. No, never mind. Let's just move on. Uh, <laughs> no, let's not go in. It's too early. It's too early. You guys are in a good mood. I'm in a good mood. Let's not, let's not, let's not ruin it. <laughs> fallen messenger's letter. In the, re in the hands of the fallen messenger, you find a letter from the keeper console. It's, it's addressed to you. Traveler. To our Heoborian allies informed us that you will attend the peace talks. Raya's war has reached our lands, and we are in need of aid. Peace talks? Okay, for those of you who have played this game a little bit, is the story good? Because I know the story in Path of Exile is very convoluted. I love the story on Diablo, even though it's kind of goofy at times. Is the story not good, Justin, because you didn't pay attention to it? Or it's really because it's not good? Because I feel like it's mid, but okay, it's okay. Well, I couldn't tell a single thing from that. As we yeah. avoid conflict. We're dedicated to the goddess Atera's memory. That Seems is, a bit messy. Until Raya forced our hand. Raya forced our hand. He wishes to destroy us and steal Atera's legacy. We can't let that happen. We need Herod's help. Your okay. help. Time traveling stuff. I'm kind of over that. I'm kind of over stories that go towards like mochi, mochi universe and you know. I miss the simple. You're gonna want to blast her. Yes, I, I was just wondering. Can I be honest with you guys? One of the best movies I watched was the Dungeons and Dragons movie. Because it was... The story was concise within one movie. It was nice. It, it was happy. And it felt like a fun adventure. It felt more or less like Princess Bride. And I loved it. I loved that there wasn't a cliffhanger. I loved that there wasn't like... The, the guy was just trying to make up with the, the other female protagonist. I, I just... I just... I just loved it. It was just like so simple and and it was exactly what I needed. You know, it was just so lighthearted and fun and I loved it. It literally gave me Princess Bride vibes for for like the sake of adventure. But again, it, it's probably because I interacted with the time travel stuff so much that uh, I, I'm just like, oh, this again. It's not that it's bad. It's just that I'm just a bit tired of it. Does that make sense? Uh, is the music a little bit intense? Hmm. No? Tell me... Tell me... Penny. 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 I need to pay attention. This chicken! I am not used to play games like this for a while. Oh, Jesus. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> Me. This fiery boy is tough. But but the audio cues are the cues are actually pretty good. Hey! Uh. Hello, you're very beautiful. How do you understand a girl's hand? And you're asking? Okay, okay. First off, you're asking a Twitch streamer dating advice. Disclaimer, I don't go outside. When games I like come out, I don't leave the door of my house for three months. Streamers are kind of people who dwell in their basements and they don't have a lot of real life interactions. So you should take any advice from streamers, especially when it comes to interacting with people with a grain of salt. It's the first advice I'll give you. The second advice I'll give you is that when it comes to dating, working on yourself is the best advice I can give you. Make yourself an interesting person. Find yourself hobbies. Find yourself interesting things you like to talk about. Because then, people will find you intriguing and they will want to talk and interact with you. And when it comes to specifically women, treat a woman like a person. Like you would treat a normal person. 
Because we are basically the same except we don't have a penis. And sometimes it gets really draining because a lot of guys approach you because they want to date you. And when you get that all the time, it becomes just exhausting. And when somebody approaches you just wanting to talk like a normal person, it's refreshing. That's how I'm going to give you as advice. <laughs> and also, you know, lead with the fact you have a penis. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know, first thing you should do, send dick pictures. Because then that's out of the way, and she will know to run. Better advice? No, I feel like all those were really good advice. I really tried. Let's try both. <laughs> Are the servers struggling? It's okay, you guys. It's okay. If if I have server problems, I can just go and ask my friend Zizaran, how do I enter in the streamer kill? He probably knows that. Show the referral code. I don't have. I wait. What referral code for this? Oh, I don't have. Don't go far, please. Broke those pylons from the right side. Wait, what? Wait, what? I can go back. Everyone is in the options. It's in the options. Where is it? <gasps> okay. You guys, I'm set. I'm not going to get disconnected because I have streamer mode enabled. Thank you. What class did I pick? I picked Rogue. By the way, you guys, I'm being... I'm being teleported. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on. H. Why, why are you asking me to press A? No line friends. Yeah, I don't have friends. Oh! 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 Oh my god, I get a little B! Okay, you guys. If you guys use my referral code, I will show you guys... Wait, how do I copy code? Oh, this is the code, Luality? It's my name. Okay. If you guys use my referral code... I will show you guys my boo B. Hold on. Where is my booby? Hold on. I will show it. I will show it. I will show it. Hold on. I will show it right on the screen. Give me one second. For some reason, I'm not being able to add it to OBS. Do you think it's because it's not safe for work? Oh, here we go. Yeah, it, what the hell? It's disappearing. This is so 
odd. I I can't. Wait, what? No, it doesn't let me. That's so fucking odd. It's not letting me add my own booby. The best what the hell? Booby, blue jib. This is so confusing. It's not showing a browser. I wanted to put the image, but it, it, it's it's filtering the, the image. It's so fucked. Anyways, fine. I'll just show you guys my my screen. Okay. Thank you so much, Metal, for the twenty one months. Okay. But none of you guys use my referral code. But fine, I will show you my booby anyways, because I'm really proud of what I have. Isn't he so cute? I hope it was worth it. The referral code is disabled? Why? Oh, I'm sorry. I was trying to focus on the booby. Okay, well, when the referral code is enabled, I will show you guys my booby again if you use it. <laughs> For those of you who are new here, my rabbit's named Boo. And every Halloween, I dress him as a bee, and then I blast my booby on the internet. Because I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? It's what caused problems. Oh, so now you can't have the bee? Gee, okay. Boochful. Hold on, did I get a ro- Fennica, Fennica. Everyone has the bee? Oh, everyone has the bee! How do I- How do I use the bee? Oh, not yet? Okay, okay. Oh, that's so... That's... That's so... That's why we can't have nice things, you know? Am I going backwards? I think so. I think I, I'm secretly attracted to this bear because he reminds me of house. I like this map. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Thinking about boobies just... It's hard to concentrate on whatever we're doing and thinking about boobies. What kind of Path of Exile is this? Uh, so, this game seems heavily inspired on Path of Exile and Diablo. Which is... Uh, how do I say this? At some point in time, I was a die-hard Diablo fan that would not touch Path of Exile with a pole stick. Because I thought it was a, a copy and Diablo is the original thing and then and then over the year over the years as I got fucked in the ass by Blizzard my pride to being a Diablo fan withered. The bodies burned her beyond recognition. Oh no. Uh so and then I realized that things like Path of Exile were created by people that were like me. That got tired of getting fucked in the ass by Blizzard and wanted to actually make a good game. And... Uh, and then I started being a little bit open-minded. And don't get me wrong. I think what Path of Exile does 
is excellent. And I love the game. But a healthy competition doesn't hurt anybody. So I hope the last epoch is good. You arrived, because it's fun. Family. Because then our favorite games get better. Everything all right? It was my mistake. Okay, what did you do? They were cornered. And there were so many. I can handle Ospreys. I told them to stay back. To let me handle it. Oh my god, this left. reminds me playing Oblivion yesterday. Remember? When there were so many hot mm -hmm. women around yeah. me? And they were all hitting me? And I died many times? I panic in your dance. Lenny! Mwah, panic how you want, my friend. Thank you so much for the two months of support. Thank you for supporting Blackjack and Hookers for Boot. It's a war. You can save everyone. What good are we if we can't? Yes. So... Yeah, sure, like, I feel like Path of Excel has been cool for a while, you know? And even if they mess up some, some things every now and then, they, they always come back with some cool update. So oh, let's see how sorry. last the book is. I just met you, and it's been a long road. Yes, exactly, Crazy Mist, you, you know? Are you also here for the peace talks? Yes, that's right. Good. I think I am. So am I. Name's Grail. Since we're both headed the same direction, I wonder... Which of us will take down more Ospreys? Romanceable option? Okay, I, I'm waiting for one of these games that you can actually romance oh, NPCs. Let me watch you fight. Because I remember in Diablo 2, I was a teenager. And sometimes I would have my mercenaries, like they, they were like in a holding hand relationship with my character. Imagine a game like this, with really good story, and romanceable NPC. Does this have a crazy tree? Oh, right, I, I leveled up, I didn't, I didn't check that. I don't think so. And by the way, can, can you please talk about the path... The, the path of exile skill tree in a more respectful manner? It's not a skill tree, it's a skill forest, okay? Tree is such a silly term for it. Oh my goodness. No, Ron, I, I wanted even before Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Gain passive points by leveling up and completing quests. Nice. Advancing your passive tree will unlock new skills. Cool. Initially, you may place points in your base class of the tree. You have the opportunity to choose a mastery class during your adventure. Okay, so... Marksman and Blade Dancer, I assume, would be our mastery classes. Or Falconer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we start here. This Steam review for Last Epoch doesn't insult your intelligence like Diablo 4 and you don't need a PhD for like Path of Exile. That's what I'm expecting from this game. It seems great. <laughs> okay, Swift Assassin. Your melee throwing and bow attacks have increased attack speed and deal. That seems good. Dexterity and health. Dodging and poison. I feel like damage. I feel like damage is the best offense. Oh, Ma. Ma, Ma, Ma. Oh, I tried to shoot my friend. Sorry. You can dip in all of them and cha change very easy. I is it easy to, to respect? I don't understand. I'm, I'm using my skill. Q. And... Uh, And uh, my mana is not going down. Can I tell you guys one thing I really appreciate about this UI? Okay, that's good. Okay. There is something that really triggers me about Path of Exile. In the UI, there is a bright green button. 
that's called shop. And I am attracted to bright colors. So whenever I'm playing Path of Exile, my eyes keep going there. And I hate it. I wish I could put like something on my monitor and tape that shit down. So I really, really am thankful that the shop is a normal color that fits the UI. I really appreciate that. As somebody that has a hard time keeping their attention to what they're doing. Right now I'm playing online, but you can also play offline. Can you believe this is a game that got released in 2024 and you can actually play offline? Shocking. You can turn that button off in Path of Excel? Oh, I had no idea. Good to know. So much destruction. And for what? You can play offline. That's crazy. That's insane. Have I played Diablo 2? Never heard of it. I probably played more than 20,000 hours in Diablo 2. We went over that in the beginning of the stream. It's probably the game I played the most in my life. Yeah, probably more than that. I was, a, I was a teenager with not much to do and I never had a social life. My dad has been training me to play video games since I'm three years old. And the first game that he trained me at was Diablo 1. So, one of the first. So... I had a lot of time in my hands. Have I played Green Dawn? I actually haven't. You know, after Diablo broke my heart... Way too many times. I waited 10 years for Diablo 3 and what I got was an auction house. You know, I, I'm sorry I'm ranting so much, but I just have so many frustrations when it comes to this kind of game that I need to let it out of my heart. Okay? Like, for example, the auction house was the most stupid thing that somebody could possibly introduce to a game like this. Like, obviously. Like, why? The entire point of games like this is that you kill monsters, so you find items, so your character gets stronger, so you can do stronger things. When you just simply buy directly from the auction house, you have no fucking reason to actually play this goddamn fucking game. No wonder nobody wanted to play that game after they bought everything they wanted, because there was no point. Who the fuck thought that adding a real money auction house to a game like this would be good? Because above all, if nobody plays your fucking game, nobody wants to spend money on your fucking game! <sighs> okay. I feel a bit better now. Let's go. Praise be the bunny of the Lord. I'm sorry. Ozzy! <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, Ozzy. Gee, thank you so much for the 50 gift subs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. That's so kind of you. Your support goes directly to Blackjack and Hookers for my rabbit. Thank you. He's gonna get sore. And I hope you guys enjoy your bunny emotes. I drew them all myself with lots of love. Mwah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. Oh, oh, did I change the resolution of my game? Oh, my hands are shaking. Because, I don't know, I, 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 I Diablo 3, like, I played so much Diablo 3, and Diablo 3 was such, like, a knife in my heart. And then they kept twisting that knife. I know that the game ended up okay, but they twisted the knife so much that... I just have a lot of, you know. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I'll make sure that I keep saying the things that I really feel. Because at the end of the day, I know I'm not the only one who feels like that. So so for a while, I stayed a little bit away from games like this. I feel like the, the, the game is too loud. Is it too loud for you guys? I stayed I stayed a little bit away from games like this and that's the reason why I didn't play Grim Dow. Let me let me know if this is a little bit better. Because th there will be a lot of killing. I'll keep the voice. Here we go. 
Fix the resolution. Yes. Thank you, Rosie. You're so freaking kind. Only the sound effects were loud? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, is, is this better now? I, I think it should be. Let's see. Oh yeah, much better. Wait, did I fuck the resolution still? Oh, Z, thank you. Oh man. This is the resolution that I played Diablo 2. And this was such a large resolution at the time. It's funny how things change. Is this better for you? <laughs> now I'm having Never trouble reading. Blizzard unlocked worst achievement in UH engine. Wait. Oh, Jesus Christ. You've never seen me so angry. It's the first time. Yeah, I, I have a lot of pent-up anger when it comes to talking about Diablo. Because I had two childhood games in my life. Diablo and Baldur's Gate. And I didn't hear about Baldur's Gate for so long. That I didn't know that Baldur's Gate would ever come back to my life. And my other childhood game that I had a lot of memories was Diablo. And, I mean, Diablo Immortal is even a thing, so... That's how big my disappointment is. Zubin? What, you want to see my character's tits? <laughs> you were so mad? Aw. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot to equip it. Sorry guys, today I'm in a talking mood. I'm just so excited today. Um, increased health regen. Health regen per second. Those boobs are amazing. Boobs. Okay. I can also enable comparison. That's nice. Can I be honest with you? I really enjoyed Diablo 4. Up until I was level 50. I think it's because I really wanted to enjoy a Diablo game and having the the old style Diablo look and I feel like I got baited because they made Diablo 4 it made me think of Diablo 1, you know, when it comes to she looks and all this. And I had a lot of fun if I bypassed the the open world always online and all those problems. Uh, but what really cut Diablo a little bit short for me was the itemization. More than protection. It felt like they did a somewhat good job the in the early is, levels. We know little about but the him. deeper you are in the, ga in the game, there was just nothing for you to look forward to. Him. There was like no, not many items, there was not many things you want. A lot of things that drop are boring and uh, and repetitive and it just didn't do it you know i know but it's the important thing for this game etera made him just as she made us keepers and gave him a role by her side he's the guardian of his people and he does his job well is it bad that i don't care about this story I, I, I'm sorry, I just don't care anymore. What about console games? I grew up playing PC games. Crafting this game is really rewarding. It seems... It seems like they got the good things from Path of Excel. Okay, would you guys smash your paths? If it could consent. Smash, pass, pass. You know when something is so ugly, it becomes kind of cute? I don't know. He's cute, but I wouldn't smash. I would have it as a pet. Smash. <laughs> Not enough tentacles. What's this? Oh, is this a person? Oh! You guys, can I be honest with you?
with you. I think I would be happier as a witch. A necromancer or something. I like girly characters in these games, and she's a lot more girly than a ranger. Do you mind? And I love, I love minions. Let's just try. Oh man, I think the servers are thinking. Okay. I already created a character. I love minions. Mostly because of my dad. My dad always played as a necromancer in Diablo 2. And... Uh, I should have been thankful for what I had. And now I lost it. Anyways, we'll keep talking and the servers will work. Do you guys want to get out diver game? Plan? <laughs> it's oh, thank you so much. No run. Oh, thank you so much for the two months of support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you guys want to play offline? Oh, is there an update? Maybe that's why I can't enter. Yeah, if I'm going to play solo self-found, right? I don't think I had an update, but I will restart the game just in case. Okay, so... I was telling you guys why I like necromancers. It's not because they're good at romancing your neck. Those are neck romancers. It's different. My dad always played as a necromancer in Diablo 2. And, oh yeah, I do have to update my game. Maybe that's why I couldn't play online. So, um, no wonder he was so good at raising a family. Anyways, I have a lot of really good necromancer jokes. Um... I always thought the necromancers were lame and boring and the minions were stupid until I farmed enough to get into Uber Tristam in Diablo 2. And uh, I got absolutely destroyed. And then I called my dad. Dad, I cannot do Uber Tristam. It's too hard. My dad went there and his minions, they lasted longer than I did, but they also got deleted. I actually have a video of this. I can show you guys. Uh, my dad recorded everything in a VHS. So he recorded a lot of our old school gameplay. And uh, um, I can try to find for the next time we play this. I don't know if we'll be playing this tomorrow, but if we do, I show you guys tomorrow. And... Uh, uh, he had the idea of going to the cow level, resurrect the cows, and bring an army of cows to Bertrand. And then he used the Crypify to slow down and increase the damage of the cows. And he single-handed with his minion Necro carried my ass on Uber, Uber Tristan. And from that day on, I started respecting the shit out of necromancers. <laughs> Guska, thank you so much for Are the power for the cast, necromancer. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes, I, I loved playing necromancer. I, I, I personally love the necromancer in Diablo 4. Because she also doesn't have much boobs like me. And even though she doesn't have a lot of boobs, she could raise 10 boners. Sometimes even more. I am full of the necromancer jokes. <laughs> 
Hayato. <laughs> I don't know, Comster. There's some guys that have bigger boobs than I do. You guys, I think uh, the reason why the cutscenes are taking long and all this is because we're trying to play online. Do you guys want to play single player? Should we make a pool? But I kind of like seeing people, you know, in town. Yeah, I think we'll play single player. Yeah. You know, it's because you nerds are cog clogging the servers. If only you would go outside more, I could play the game online. E I know I'm playing solo self found, but, but I am trying to clog the server too, okay? Because then I can relate to your freaking problems. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh no. Oh no. Why is it synchronizing cloud? Single player, best player? Yeah. I remember. I played Diablo single player for years. And I always wanted... I, ha I have always been a very social person. So I always wanted to play... On... Battle.net. And my dad was like, no, you can't play on the Battle.net. And then I was like, but why, dad? I just want to play online. And he was like, no, because if you update the game to play online, they nerfed the Necromancer. And I don't like that. So he wouldn't let me update the game. So I, could, I couldn't play online for a while. But eventually, I got my own computer made of parts of his old computer and then I could play online because then I could finally update my goddamn game wait am I still online? I cannot see Twitch chat if you guys are talking to me I cannot see your messages panic am I online? I don't even know if I'm streaming or not Panic. Panic. Um, Morse code. That doesn't work because I have a earbud. Uh, what do I do? Is there any way we can communicate? Guska, thank you so much for the four months of support. Is my internet down? Is Twitch down? second internet provider so i think i'm having possibly the weirdest internet problem a streamer has ever had my upload speed is perfect and my upload speed is functional but my download speed is not working so you guys can see me you guys can probably hear me but I can't have any information from you. So here's the thing. I have never done a stream like this. But it should come back soon. It's probably also why I'm having trouble to do the thing. So it's like I'm... You guys asked me to play the game in single player. I started streaming single player. 
And this is horrifying. I hope it come back soon. Shit. Properties. I, I would need to cons cancel. How do I cancel uh, cloud saving for this game? I know. Listen. Jesus Christ. I'm in the streaming mindset. So I'm asking you guys questions. You guys cannot. Okay. I figure it out. I could do it. This is the right time to drop bits, right? How can I see that? But there is no alerts. That's so fucked. It should work if you use one bit. But is, this is a pay to win stream right now? Did my internet turn me into the thing that I hate the most? Please don't. I'm gonna close those notifications. I'm not gonna look at them. Until I have my chat back. I refuse. My game doesn't open. What is happening? Oh, a sacrifice. Really? And thank you so much for selling the soul to Freya. Oh, a sacrifice. That's so odd. Is that actually happening? Okay. Okay. I can't open the game. Oh, a sacrifice. Because the game requires some... It's not because the game requires... Oh no, the game is opening now. This is so fucking weird. Okay, maybe I should oh, show you guys... A sacrifice. I have the collector's edition of Diablo 3. But no, I think I can play now. Remember when YouTubers would make Let's Plays? Let's play offline. Thank you, Vlad. Thank you, this is a regular chat message, nothing abnormal whatsoever. I'm not sure when you sent that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so... I'm going to play... as an acolyte. Since it's offline, I will play... I'll put... Lua. We are gonna play hardcore. Yeah, just so you guys can see. Hardcore and solo character found. And we create. Hold on, one second. In the beginning, there was darkness. Hey, cutscene? Only the terror, myself, and the void. How did I miss this? I was content with nothing. She dreamt of light, of life, of humanity. We disagreed. And yet, in her world, there were gods. Majasa of the desert. It's back! Largon of the it's sea. It's back! I can see you guys! Raie of the endless skies. And Hierot of the frozen tundra. I miss you! I'm so happy! Ah. Ah. And the first thing I see you guys, you guys asking me to skip the goddamn cutscene. I was so happy to see the cutscene! <laughs> oh, gosh! Oh, if these keepers will accept oh, my aid, they would be foolish to deny LVCs. my power. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, you guys! I can't see my alert! Everyone that did, did alerts, thank you. Some alerts went through, most didn't. He starts for cutscene? No, 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 we watched the cutscene, you guys could see it. So, was the stream normal during this time? I've never seen something like this happen. I feel like the next time something like this happen, I will have a backup plan. I don't think something like this will ever happen, though. Because... What are the odds that your upload speed is perfectly fine, and your download speed just, just gets fucked? I skipped halfway through the cutscene? 
fuck? I was really into that. It was an accident. It will stop happening the moment I have a backup. Yeah, here's the thing, right? I actually have a backup internet. And because of that, I could see that it was my internet problem. Was I supposed to accept the quest? Oh, God. Oh, there was the messenger. Oh, there. But I, hi, hi, hi. So, so this game is all about a breakup. There was a god that broke up with another god. Traveler, as he wishes yes. to destroy us and steal Atera's legacy, we can't let that happen. Oh gosh. Uh, can 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 my mods tell me exactly the name of the people that that I missed? Because it's not showing in my in my stuff. Because this stuff is just the creator of the gods disappeared. So God died? <laughs> hey Plato, hi! Hi, hi! Jesus. I... I feel like I was a lot stronger as a rogue. Ugo! And... Ass? Thank you so much for your subscription. Do you have a great ass? That's why you name yourself after ass? Nice. Can I have... Minions? Cool! Oh, I'm raising my boners! I can only have three boners? Okay, hopefully we'll get more boners as we go. Ha-ha! Nice! Nice! Thank you, Ugu, and thank you, Us. Mwah! May the bunnies be here, and thank you for the sub gifts as well. Oh, oh, bear. Oh, bear. I can have Jesus. My Q ability costs nothing. Okay, cool. Yeah, I have been using it. Skelly. I I like I, I, I feel like my first correcting Diablo 2 was the Amazon, so I love rogues and assassins. But I just really like the the way that the necromancer looks. I like the, the edgy emo look for my characters. Skelly? Got boners on the brain? You're running around with eight boners, a fire golem, and four fire mages. Cool. Cool! Okay. Oh no, my boner died. Should, should I should I need my boners after you guys? Nah. Nah, I should I, I should I should give them names though. Because then when when they die, I get overly attached and feel really sad about it. Unless if they are timed boners. Yes, I, I do have Shelly, I, I have dyslexia. So I I fuck with everyone's names. It's it's not only you. It happened that I have fucked so much when you arrived, with people's names mistake. that they actually changed their names to whatever the hell I was the calling them. I can handle Ospricks. Thanks. Are you? I am. Names. I come. Okay, let's Let go. We found her a boyfriend. Hereni, thank you. I try my best, but sometimes I just see. I see letters wrong. I mean, it happened during a sponsorship. We had a sponsorship <laughs> for Enotria. But the first time I read the name of the game, I, I read Entoria. Enot... Now I don't know which one is right. Hafa! <sighs> Efflorescence. There, there is a... I use a dyslexic... To font to read chat and it helps me so much if you join my discord i can tell you i think i think uh, i don't remember the name of the font but i have been using it for like six years or so now and it has helped me so much to read things it's it's so good dyslexia yes 
I think the font is called Dyslexy. I use that on chat and I make chat big enough. So every... The things get a lot better. It's still like not perfect, but it's a lot better than any normal letter. And you can use it everywhere. You can use it on your browser, you can use it in a bunch of places. What was I telling you guys before shit went to hell and I stopped to... What's this? So much destruction. And for what? What is this? Pillar. Is this a shrine? Bonus? I really need to level up. And we got in specialization slot. Gain passive points? Yes. Okay, here we go. Increase damage. Increase minion damage. Armor and minion armor. And intelligence. I think damage? We only have one point? No, two. Is armor is such a weird stat in a game for me because it doesn't feel like palpable. No! Um, like health, I know when my health is getting low and 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 I know when I need more health. But when it comes to armor, it's a more how much damage I take each hit. So my brain is kind of dumb when it comes to things that are more passive. Yeah, plus five armor doesn't have a lot of, like, meaning to me. Like, if it was a percentage, maybe, like damage reduction or something like this. But since I don't know anything about armor... What's this? <gasps> Am I safe? Hold on. Uh, you guys... I think my alerts are buggy. Let me try... ...to refresh. The browser search. Just give me one second. I hate being unthankful to people. Hold on. Rylan, brilliant. Mwah. Thank you so much again for the 10 gift subs. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Things should be okay now. I refreshed everything, so it should be fine. Uh, okay. Let me see. You can specialize in up to five skills by clicking an unlocked specialization slot located above which unlock as you level up. Specializing in a skill will allow you to gain skill points for that skill. It's like when you put a skill in an armor in Path of Exile and you level up the gem. Strong. Impressive. First streamer I ever subscribed to. Smile. Ah, Gabe, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate your support. And I'm so happy that I popped your sub cherry. Mwah! So it's a bit deeper, but the idea is the same. That's so cool. Okay. Okay, so so they, they basically modify the Path of Excel system. Okay, so for those of you who do know not know the Path of Exile system. Uh, you know when you socket things in your armor? In Path of Exile, you socket your skills in your armor. And you can also slot in your armor skills that modify your skill. So, for example, if you want to use Fireball, you will socket it's a gem that gives Fireball in your armor. And then you can also get supportive skills for that gem. For example, if you if you find a supportive skills that that's allow you to cast instead of one fireball three fireballs, you can attach it to your fireball skill. And now whenever you cast fireball, it's three of them. But each one does a little bit less damage. For example, so you can modify your main skill by connecting it with different side skills. 
In this game, the system is somewhat similar. And also, the more experience you gain, as you have that skill is slotted in your character, the higher level that skill is. And the higher level that skill is, the more damage it does. More or less, the system that has in Skyrim. The more that you use something, the better you are at it. Uh, so, in this game, is a mi mixture of that system. But you actually <laughs> apparently get the skills, and they also provide the passive Goodness. skills. It's really cool. Blacklist, thank you so much for the six months. May the bunnies be here. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's say if I want to specialize on my bonus. Thank you, Blacklist. Thank you. You can't respect is your subclass. Okay. Uh, I think. Oh! Okay! Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on. So, let's say I want to specialize on my boners. So, my boners, they have their own skill tree. Okay. Even my main basic attack. That's so cool. It's skill trees within skill trees. <gasps> oh, this is so nice. But I, I either need to start from bottom or top. Now I need... Now this is a skill forest? <laughs> Shelly. Yep. <laughs> okay, so... We can go in four different directions. This one... Gives maximum... Health for the warriors and damage for the... Wait, you have rogue skeletons? Summoning costs less mana... I assume, depending on each direction I go... Oh my gosh! I can get my own skeleton to buff my other skeletons?! So, so... That's so cool! Because... I remember in Diablo, I had to craft like the, the, the rune worlds for my mercenaries. Like I, I had fate. My, my dad had fate in his necromancer because then you would have the fate hour in your necromancers. But apparently in this game, your minions, they get buffed by, by themselves, depending on the one you decide to specialize. That's so cool. Is it? Skeletons deal more damage and have more health. Both multiplicative and multipliers. And are larger! <gasps> so I can have a huge boner! Oh, but I can only have half of them. That's so cool. That's really good. Huge! Is it possible to max a skill? I think I'll go here. Wait, I don't have anything. Oh, I would need to specialize on this. Okay. I can also race back. Cool. Oh. Okay, okay, cool. Max is 20 plus items bonuses. Okay. Is this good? I really like the idea of this, of my minions buffing themselves. But I also really like the idea of a huge boner. Should, since the huge boner is closer... I think we'll go for that. And if anything, we can always respect it. Imagine our penetration potential. 
The enemies are gonna get penetrated. Bilingual and dyslexic is hella impressive. Well, thank you. That's so nice of you. What kind of discussion in chat? Your mom is 12. Your mom doesn't have money for books. Quick, before it reaches town. Oh man, the internet is amazing. It's high class. You no, I love oh, it. Well, if if uh, every internet we'll insult was your mom joke, I feel like the internet would be a much happier place. Oh, ICP! Oh, ICP! You're a young, edgy kid. No, the average age here is much higher than yours. I don't think you belong here, dude. He probably already went cry to his mom. I know, right? Big Marcus, mm, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you. May the bunnies be with you. Thank you so much for supporting Blackjack and the hookers for my bunny. Um. Sounds like they're leaders waiting up at the shrine. Senator. Here's the thing, when a game releases, the influx of people wanting to try the game is a lot higher than there will be during the game's lifetime. So the devs, they can't just have so many servers on demand just for release because this kind of work is very hard and takes time and a lot of money. So releases, yes, the servers are going to be busy and I don't think that's something the technology is going to help for a while. The same issue that Helldivers has. But right now I'm playing single player and things are going fine. The game is still a good game, you know? That won't change. But at release, a lot of new people want to try the new shiny thing. But it's likely that they will not stick around to that extent. So it's not worth for the devs to just have 500 billion servers just for that. So, at release, well. you need to have some patience. This, this is just the nature of online gaming. Home. That's gonna be like this for every game. Imagine, thank goodness Baldur's Gate was not an online game. Because then what the fuck would I do? I need to speak sounds to this like guy. Keep sure. even it's the Speaking of, oh, I so must nice. head, sounds like the keepers have done well. Yeah, yeah, I'll This place that. isn't too different from home. Yeah. So, I, I usually play games solo. Because you guys are my teammates, so I can play offline without no problems. Exactly, Piper, exactly. And um, considering how the average gamer sends death threats to devs whenever something goes wrong in gaming, even when it's Grail not something they expertise of, your of... I am Lena. She's so hot. One of the Keeper's counsel. You can't expect the average gamer to, to be able to understand survey structure. <laughs> hello, hello. Mwah. Grail was just telling me of your battle. Oh, One of she's hot. Two. There should be more of us here. More of us who? Hot woman? Yes. 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 Both us and I remain, and he's not here. As such, I must ask for your Hi, help. Lina. Uh, okay, ask away. Balthus is busy checking on our sacred artifacts. We're protectors of Atera's history, and right now, they're in danger. ICP, can I give you an advice? Usually the person calling something cringe is the cringiest person in the room. And you join my chat being completely insultive, unaware. You have no social etiquette in how to behave in public. You are the cringe person here. But I would please welcome you to stay because your cringy messages are really entertaining to me. But I'm giving you an advice if you want to actually appear as a reasonable person ever in your life.
You stay a while and chat. So what can we do? Even now, the Osprey swarm all of our sacred vaults. I've already asked Grail to check one down in the mountains. There is another up north where Balthus is. Enjoy your Cochrane. Cochrane. I'm dyslexic. Make sure he's safe. There's word of a drake patrolling the skies. Dragon? Can do. Do this, and our alliance is secure. We'll lend our aid to I have work to army. do. Nice. Nice. Blue advice, best advice, no. Once I gave the advice of somebody, this girl told me. Oh, I went to the wrong place. This girl told me that her boyfriend brought her pizza. I recommended that she should break up with her boyfriend, eat the pizza, and then make up. Because then she wouldn't need to share pizza. So no, you shouldn't blindly trust anyone. Because sometimes I'm saying shit just to be funny and to fuck with you. And other times I'm being serious. It's up to you to have some minimal criti critical thinking to discern what's a joke and what's actual advice. Have fun. That's it. I look so cozy. Oh, thank. Oh, thank. Oh, thank. Seems like good advice, though. Well, shit. It was an accident. <laughs> ah, I mean, psycho. Am I a psycho because I want you to use your fucking brain for once? ICP, I'm sorry. You are devoid of a brain. That's the problem. You can't! I don't need a gamer! Okay! You are in a gaming website! Watching games! You are a gamer, you fucking idiot! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh! Lightning resistance? Throwing damage? <gasps> Can you have a troll barbarian build in this game? How do I sell shit? Hold on. Hmm. Right. How did the talks go? It went well. Okay. Oh. So... Does this game have gold? How do I sell? Shift? No. Oh, here we go. Isn't it usually shift click? It's shift left click. Jeez. Brain lost it? Wait, what? I know, I know. It's... It's people who have no concern for their own time. I personally don't waste time interacting with things I don't like because life is short and I would like to make the best of it. It here is blessing. Okay, so... We go. It's not worth to pick up things and sell them at the shop. Okay, how do I break them for materials then? You say use your brain instead of use your brain? Sue your brain? Oh man. I don't have a lawyer, but my bunny does. My bunny does have a lawyer. It's okay. It's okay. Let, let the clown be the clown. Hold on. ICP. Listen. You have been so... Weird on my chat. Please, just move on. 
If you don't like the stream, you can just leave. But if you're going to m keep misbehaving and being a little shit, an immature little shit, this is your last warning. Well, but here's the thing, you know, there is some, there is some, there's some entertaining to, entertainment to be had from people like this. But, but, but sometimes they get a little bit out of the fun, you know? So his brain. Slip up. Yesterday, I showed everyone how huge my penis is. You wanna see it? I know. Impressive. Impressive. I... Yeah. Yep. Hey, Ranger. How are you doing? Did you have a good day? It's a little swollen. No, it's just like that. It's just very girthy. Do I have curses? What does R? It eludes me. What is this? I can summon ghosts? Reveals wandering spirits around you for six seconds. These spirits wander random, dealing necrotic damage over time to enemies that pass through. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You were, you were honestly jealous. It's okay. It's not about size. I personally do not know how to use it well. I haven't had it for long. Harvest. Melee attack that hits all enemies in an area in front of you. Cool! It's so pretty! Okay, and this is marrow shards. Oh, it's like bone spear! Baba Yaga, I started as rogue. But then I was like... Uh, you know, I'm a necromancer kind of girl. I think I'll need to... I think I'll need to, to focus on going to the story. Because usually the best part of games like this is after you're done with the story. I wonder how the bosses are. You had yours all your life and you can't use it well? Oh shit, it's complicated, you know? Point is six is just very tough. I'm glad I don't have a point is six. I feel like the, the good thing about having a pointy stick is that... Bathrooms. I don't know if you guys ever seen a girl's bathroom. First, girls have to deal with pee, poo, and blood. Guys only have to deal with two of them most of the time. Second, guys have the blessing of the aiming stick. Girls don't. And I guarantee you, no girl wants to sit on a toilet of a public bathroom. So they try to squat. And without the pointy stick, the piss can go in every direction. It's awful. In fact, have you noticed that I drink very little water on stream? It's because I program myself to never, ever have to use a bathroom outside of my house. I can go all day, 12 hours, easily, without using the restroom once. Press B. It's called joystick. Oh, yeah. We have more points. Just one? Dang it. Is it healthy? No. But it's probably... It was the best thing I could do rather than getting an infection in a random school bathroom. Especially because you know how horny teenagers can be. Yeah. 
public public bathrooms. Yeah. So hold on. Can I <gasps> No die! No die! I, I kind of want to put hotkeys on my mouse. No die. Cleaning women's restrooms. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. It, it's awful. You know how in Japan they have these squat uh, toilets? Those would be so much better for ladies. Like, not even funny. Yeah, I did press R. I guess it's good to do when there's more random enemies. Do I have like a dodge? No, right? Arr. Uh, we should have drops for the game. Hold on. Can, can you guys check for me if your drops are working? Can I get skills right now? I feel like I just got some skills. <gasps> okay, I need to start using my brain. To do something other than talk. I like that. <gasps> oh god. This is fine. This is good. Cool. Maybe better than whatever we have. Yeah, drops are working fine. Okay, thank you. Thank you. What are the drops even? Health regen that helps. The the boots that I found on my other character. Ooh, damage over time. Do the zombies count as damage over time? Oh, an iguana? Oh, I wish it was a bunny. Oh, okay. Hold on. I don't really like those zombies. I don't know. They they they're just too relatable. They just run around aimlessly. I was over to see their attacks. Hold on. Give me one second. I just need to get to safety. This almost died. I don't want to. Accidentally die because I'm destroyed. What what is this shiny thing? Is that the shrine? Okay, so we can specialize in a different skill. Do we focus on the boners? Or do we start specializing in something else? I really like the marrow shards. Nice. 69 damage per second. I just don't know what's good. And it would take me so long to read everything. The boners. Can I not? Oh yeah, no, I can't. It's locked. Okay, so I'll just spend on the boners. Okay, so it requires two points in here. Okay. Yeah. Is there another thing that I should know? Before I die. Marrow shards take your life? Cool. I guess that's why I like their damage. Can I swap the position of the skills? So I can put the skills that I like to use in better positions? This drag it? It's not working. Oh! Okay. I'll put uh, this here. R. Okay. And I should put this here. And then I just take this off. And then this. This don't want to. Don't want to use the rest. Okay, so I oh it's stunning shrine. Cool. But it's some duration. Is there like bad shrines in this game? Thank you. That's so much better. 
Because now I I can use in a way that like in Diablo. I did play a lot of Diablo, but I kind of don't remember much. Okay. So if we get here, we can get. Okay, we check this one we get there. Hi, Galicia. Hey, Jesus, Jesus Christ. I, I like the game. The, the game honestly seems like... Um, imagine if the simplicity of Diablo... Imagine if Diablo and Path of Exile made out. And then their baby... It was something that... Uh, is not overly simple, but not too overly complicated. It's like a middle term. Mm. And I don't know what he said. We go. Yeah. I also think this game looks gorgeous. It's I, I find that Diablo definitely looks the best out of these games, but I I feel like Last of Us is on the level of that like i really like how the maps look i really like how the the enemies i've seen so far no i didn't try the first one this is my first time experience in the game but i played diablo and other games like this for all of my life hold on did my minions go away hold on i had some archer minions no did I? Because if I did, where the fuck did they come from? Or was I just out of minions? Lazy people, Ooh, thank you so much for Prime. May the bunnies be with you. Thank you. May, May the bunnies be here. I appreciate your support to Blackjack and Hookers for my rabbit. It's random. You can either get two archers, one warrior, two warriors, and one archer. Oh. I see. Hey, hey, Bula! Yes, yes! Yes, I really like the art of the game. I really like how the skill system seems to be as well. Like... It reminds me a little bit of Path of Exile, but... Like in, in the Once depth, for the keeper's movements, but in a different way. Between my engineer's finest munitions and the strength of my pet, we managed to crack one open. Only to find empty halls and vacant... What would be the purpose of such a stronghold if it were to house nothing? Yet I could tell they were here, just as I predicted. They were guarding something of immense importance. Can I be honest with something you guys? Something powerful. Raya will be pleased. Do you guys mind if I actually read and pay attention to the lore? It's just that it helps me getting immersed into games. And I feel like this if way. I wasn't into the lore of a lot of games, I w at least the initial thing is just it just something. Look, he's so cute. Oh, I want we one of these. Help. We all speak slave. Protect the sword. Oh no. The drink. Tread carefully. Yeah, I. I kind of... I'm kind of sad that we missed the first cutscene. I should have a starter. Because I... Even if the story is not that interesting, I, I need something to... to understand the world of the game, you know? And the, the concept and why things are the way they are. I, I might have some better items to use. But like, right now, I just kind of want to, to keep going forward and I forget to equip my character. But then I keep forgetting that I'm also playing... Hardcore. You know, you know what I... What I would like for a game like this? To have an extension, like Baldur's Gate has. So people in chat, you guys can always have access to my skills. What my skills are, and also my items. I feel like a, a game like this would benefit so much with something like that. Like Baldur's Gate has. 
So, whenever I play Baldur's Gate, everyone can know everything that's in my inventory and my quest log in the extension. Not here. Armor it isn't safe. We'll reconvene outside. Path of Excel has two? Eternal, thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Unleash the back seating? No, it's not to unleash the back seating. It's just so people who want to know how some. So, I have a relic and a shield. So, this is not like a focus. Cool. 23 armor. This is just better. How do we look? Sexy. Nice. Oh, I see, Enix. I see. I find that something like this is so nice. Lightning resistance. Hey! Thank you so much for the prime. May the bunnies be here. Press the blinking. Oh, so the, the crafting material shit. That's actually so handy. Nimbusta, thank you so much for the support. Thank you. High five. That's definitely something like this. Wow, that's so cool. Uh, Max Blank, I'm playing single player. The servers were giving me some problems, and since I'm playing solo self-found anyways, and I don't plan on trading with people, I may as well just, you know. Since the Keepers fall, we've held the same rituals, instructed to keep the Epoch Shard separate. Those were Itera's words. Okay, so if I leave the, the... the thing, we can still move and still hear. Okay, I love that. That's really good. Oh, oh, I think Moobot mistook your message for something else. I am so sorry, Blob. If you have an online character, it can be viewed online. Oh, I see. That's cool. That's cool. Whee! What are those guys? I, I feel like I'm just accidentally mapping those zones because I'm just like so... I'm sorry, it's my first time playing this game and I haven't played a game like this in so long. So I'm just like... Oh, shiny! Statues! And they don't even have their breasts out. It's crazy. You know? That I'm a little bit overwhelmed. Oh, it was so satisfying to break out those spots. A blob. The game was on early access, yes, for a while, and. Uh, that should hold them. Cool. First things first. Thank you. The Osprix grow more troublesome by the day. You can launch the game is real offline. How you mean? We've reinforced our walls, supplied our men, and taken out dozens of them. Yet. They're still here. Using okay. brute force now. True dear Drake? The howling monster circling the vault. Yes. So, I see you lack keeper's robes. I take it Lita sent you. Yes, Piper. That's what I'm playing. I'm playing single player right now. Lovely. While your help has been appreciated, I have everything under control. Yeah, the Lina is the hot lady. Yeah, she definitely sent us here. What, what are you, you doing mean? here? I'm protecting the Epoch, of course. Oh! And the game is the last Epoch. <gasps> what is this place? Here. It's a fortress. Meant to keep unruly treasure hunters from locating the Wait, shards of the there Epoch. There's two offline modes? Why? If... No, no, Plasma. If you play... If you play... Offline, you can only play offline because I assume people can modify their characters in certain ways that would be hard for them to to keep control of. So online, it would be hard to take a handle of that. So your online character is different than your offline character. Or at least it's supposed to. 
drastic times. Shards of this e epoch? Did Rina not tell you? No, if she did, I was just too distracted by her beauty. <laughs> well, tell you what. Let's get out of here first, and then I'll explain more. These peace talks are hardly worth it if you don't know why Orion is after us. Okay. Hey, good evening, Satan. Good to see you. Did you have a good day? Yeah, we need to escape the vault. Doesn't... Oh, he's following us. Do we just need to go back or keep going? I assume we keep going forward. I then I am. I just started, so I'm a little bit overwhelmed. Especially because I had, like, a weird string disconnect. But... I'm actually really enjoying the game. It has a bunch of features that I really like. And... It seems like this game has taken inspiration from games that I really like, like Path of Exile. And taken inspiration in a healthy and good way, you know? And that's my favorite thing about this game so far. And I I like how pretty it is. Which Path of Exile is kind of lacking, honestly. <laughs> It seems like it has taken a lot from Path of Exile, but not really, you know? It's it just like... Path of Exile seems like it takes a lot from Diablo, but but not really. You, you guys know what I mean, right? They, they, they do things that... Yeah. You get it. Path of Exile 2 looks very pretty. For sure. But again, uh, I, I, I haven't played it yet. Well, they, they're in a way updating the graphics in Path of Exile by bringing Path, two, uh, Path of Exile 2. But isn't Path of Exile 2 going to be like a very different game than Path of Exile? It has been a while since I've seen anything from Path of Exile 2. It took the good parts from Path of Exile? Exactly. Exactly. There's another. Oh, you see, you see all those monsters. This we are very early in game, and this is something that I really missed in Diablo. Diablo has such little monster density, and part of the thing in this game is seeing all those monsters fucking die. You know, so I like this. Oh, I see. Cool. <laughs> Path of Excel allows you to make uh, maps and you can kind of like decide how dense your maps are. And you can make maps so dense that can crash your computer. It's great. <laughs> Uh, Medeiros. I think uh, it's a little bit early for me to say, but so far the game, uh, not only from what I have played, but also from friends that I really trust, I have heard great things about this game. Um, if you're into this kind of game, I would say it's definitely worth it. It seems like it has taken great things from games that I have found great. And so far, I really like it. I The only really complaint that I have so far is that I can change I'm the sure gender of the classes. The keepers and I find that to be a pity, I but I feel like on a grand scheme of things, that should be a very silly complaint to have. Good. Wait, is this my no. other character? Is she tilted? <laughs> Get it. Panic! Panic! My friend just got kidnapped! I had one job! Fuck! <laughs> I had 
find one job. Did you see what way they went? Okay, okay, I'll handle it. Go to safety. I got this. Oh god. Looks like I'm getting fired. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. Okay, so it's telling me to return to the camp and speak with Lena. Lena is a really hot NPC that I wish we could romance. Or at least hold hands. Oh no. Maybe I should have taken the waypoint. This is worse than the seagull steals your hot dog. God. It's exactly how it feels. <laughs> okay. So. This game does something really cool. So, this is the map in the era that we are right now. This is the map in the ancient times. This is the map in the future. And then the future before that. And then the future after that. So, I really like this. This is just, just the position of the map. I think it's really cool. Isn't that sick? It's a really good concept. So even though I'm not a fan of timelines and things like that, I really like the way that they, they put it on the map. Itera's blessing. Pardon? Our soldiers are getting lost. Listen, you shouldn't trust me with anything. Well, I'll try to find her, but I, she will probably get kidnapped. Yes. Okay, no problem. Prayers be with you. I never played Zelda. Consoles were too expensive for me growing up. Everything okay? Where's Balthus? And I quickly realized that, you know, since you couldn't play online for consoles for so long, I quickly realized that I preferred PC gaming because at least I could have friends online. Growing up as the only daughter and liking video games is kind of tough. What? What happened? How is this compared to Diablo? Uh, I will quote somebody else, Wolf Zombie. This. Diablo is so simple that's a little bit insulting to your intelligence. This game is not that simple, but yet it does not require a PhD like Path of Exile does. And I feel like that is a great way. Because like, for example, I have over a thousand hours in Path of Exile and I'm a complete dumbass noob. Hopefully this game is a bit different. A, a giant drake came in and grabbed him. That must be Orion. Mm -hmm. If he captured Balthus, he's in danger. Yeah, but I haven't played enough to tell, you know? An Osprey's general. Who's Osprey? He's the one leading the hunt for us. Okay. What happened to the artifacts Balthus was protecting? Oh, uh, well, it was in his pocket. That must be what they were after. Oh, we have to are you sure Balthus. they didn't want the old man? Him and the Epoch back. Maybe they were really into him. <laughs> you know where they would go? Their camp is not far. I have to organize a group. Go after him. Uh, then allow. Are you sure? I could gather soldiers. Have them come with you. Uh, you guys, I don't think this game has anything to do with Lost Ark. Lost Ark is a pay-to-win Korean MMO that's very different feel than this. This game is more like Path of Exile and Diablo. It's very different. It's faster if I go now. You'll walk into an entire army of Ospricks. Okay, I've stay got this. Stay safe, stay alive, and bring both us back. I mean, if I die, you'll never hear from me again. Okay, passive and experience. Cool. Everything okay? He was kidnapped. Oh, yeah, no, no. So we can repeat the dialogue. Let me... Cool, so now we can unlock more stuff. Minion health. Minion attack speed, that's always nice. Whenever nearby enemy, ally or minion dies, you have 10% chance to gain ward. Is that like a shield? Ah. Ward? Is when an overshoot shield 
is an overshoot shoot that protects your health. Cool. That seems good. What is this? Cal for oh, this is a skill that I unlocked. Oh, I see. So this is how you unlock skills. By using some passives, you get skills that... Oh, I see. A boner golem? Cool. I think out of these, this is the best. So... So, what you're saying is... So, let's say these lines... I could, if I didn't want the shield, I could have just capped up to here and unlocked the shoe skills by just putting points on those shoes and not using any of the others. Cool, okay. So I'm not forced to stick to anything. Okay, that's good. I, re I really like that. Because I really hated that on Diablo, I had to spend a lot of points in things that were very useless. Just so I could unlock shit. That that was a little bit frustrate frustrating. Do I have one? Oh. I also have a point here. That means I can summon one more skeleton. And in a little bit, in one more point, we'll be able to get a huge boner. Okay. We go. Okay, so, how do I deal with my inventory? Do I just sell it? Can I break it? How does this work? I think this is better. Skeleton number three. Loot... Loot filter? I've heard I can make the loot filter in this game. Shift F. <gasps> cool. Okay, so that's so nice. Okay, so create a new filter. New filter. Uh, bun, bunoy. Okay. Description color pink. Confirm. Let's add a rule. Ooh. Hold on. Small bunoy? Okay, I'll change it to small bunoy. Show. Show all items. Add condition. Level. Ah. Oh. So, so, I can hide that I don't see items that drop that are below my level. Highest usable level. But then, if I drop an item that I can't use, I can see it. That's so cool. It's so cool that you can put this. Do, do you guys know any future I can import? Yes, I know. I know, Gravidin. I, I'm just like kind of impressed because I remember in Path of Exile, it's an external website and all that, you know? Thank you so much for the two months. Thank you. It's useful to hide all the white items. So. How do I do that? Oh, God. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> okay. Condition. Rarity. None. White. Normal. Will need visibility? Hide. Okay, so I added a condition that if an item is white, it doesn't show. Oh, fancy. Cool. So now, I can also add a condition that if the item is magic, it... Hold on. It will show, but depending on my character level. Wow, oh, thank you. Oh, you sent me a link? Oh, 
Holy panic! I'm sorry you got timed out. I still got the link. Thank you. Oh, shit. Idols are also white. Panic. Okay, I'll just import a, a filter. And outside of stream, when I'm less distracted, I will try to, to take a look into this. Hold on. Uh, Penny. Penny. Okay, so... Okay, can one of you guys, Frank, I'll trust you with this. Can you select me a loot filter for my character, for a noob? Please. And you're saying this shit is not worth selling. And who are you? Oh no. Sorry, I didn't mean to click on you. Thank and you. Who are you. Thank you. Just so I'm a little bit less overwhelmed. Yes. I am going to be playing as a necromancer because I really like raising boners. It sounds really wrong if you don't know what I'm talking about. And who are you? Okay. What are those stones? Oh, those are like focuses. Cool, the lab. Nice. Oh, you guys, you guys. Listen, I know you're trying to send some links in chat to help, but I have a bunch of like loot, uh, not loot, link filters because you know how s sometimes random people are on Twitch and I don't want you guys to accidentally lose everything you have online because you clicked on a malicious link from a porn account in my chat. So if you want to post a link, even if it's help you, you need to, to ask a mod for, for, for permission. I am so sorry. I don't hate you. It's no personal. I know you guys are only helping. <laughs> oh, was the director of Reaper on this? I think this is better for us you really than the shield. Job. But block chance is always nice, right? And Are resistance. You? And I'm playing hardcore. Panic. You sent me one? Oh, thank you so much. Hi! Mirage, thank you so much for the three months of support. Okay, you sent me a file. Hold on. Sh uh, Shift F, right? How do I import that? No filter? Import. Paste clipboard contents. I can't. Oh! Cool, so I can just copy this shit. No? It's not... It's, it's saying... I only have nonsense. No. I'll just download it. Let me... Oh, it's asking... Wait. Okay. Copy. Marsha, Ooh, thank you for the three months of support. Okay, cool. Okay, sure. I'll confirm that. <laughs> okay, but I can still see all those white items. 
Okay, let's hope this works. Thank you. Thank you, Frog. Yeah, the music is... I can create period blood in any floor I want? I love necromancy. Oh, did I forget to enable it? It's enabled, though. I think it's enabled. Yeah. Then why those items are being shown? Oh, they're probably being shown because I threw them out of my inventory. Okay. Hold X. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, because I'm low level as well. Yeah. Oh! Oh, look! I can push him. Oh, I don't want to be mean. Oh, the line is not active? Oh, look! So I need to active the things? No, I don't think I do. I think it's active everything that I want. It just is giving me the option to see colors of different class items. Yeah, no, everything is red. Right. It's only if I want items for other characters, the, the loot filter will also show them to me. Okay, where the hell do we need to go? I think we need to go this way. That's a long filter. Scally, have you ever played Path of Exile? Path of Exile, the filters, you can even add the sound comments. Can you do this for the filters here as well? So, Path of Exile, you, you can even get different sounds to be played when certain items are dropped. So... It's, it's pretty crazy. Because then you have to worry about seeing less things, you know? Hold up. Oh wait, that's the cute guy, but a mean one. Okay, so... Why are you saying F? For, for the little boy? Hold on. Let me just clean this shit. Three health per second is better than just lightning resistance. At least for now. This is worse. Okay. What is this? Chicken feet? Huh? Cool. I haven't spent passive. Passive is... Here, right? No. Passive is R. No! Gosh! There's three skill trees! P! Right, P for passive. Huh. Obviously. Okay. Thank you! Just a tad bit overwhelming. A tad bit overwhelming. Less overwhelming than it was Path of Exile for the first time, though. This? What is this R skill? Oh, I didn't realize I had it! It's like... Is, is this a curse? Okay, cool. Do I need bodies to summon my skeletons? I don't think so, right? It eludes me. Yeah, the last league I played, I think it was Arch Nemesis. I had a crazy minion dude for that one. Impossible. I could solo most of the bosses. It was so strong. Impossible. 
Do we have corpse explosion in this game? I don't know. But I, I find it hard to believe there would be a necromancer or any class that's remotely like a necromancer without corpse explosion. Ted. I cannot... I don't have any movement speed, speed skill, right? Hold on. I curse. Okay. This is cool. This is nice. I am very overwhelmed. I think I'll need a long nap. Why can I see this? Oh. Because I'm so low level that the filter doesn't know what to give me. That makes sense. Transpond? Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Grab. Mwah. Have I played Divinity Original Sin? Yes. I played a lot of Divinity Original Sin. I love that game. Do we get spell damage on armor? Okay, so when something says plus two to spell damage, does that include my minions? Okay. But in a way, my minions are spell. It doesn't affect Bonker. It was a trap. Oh. Oh no. Rest now. You did good. Oh, the poor thing. Okay, so we came all the way here to find out that we have been fooled. Cool. Okay, thank you, Bender. Thank you. I'll keep an eye. Thank you. Uh... I'll go with this. Hmm... Was this wise? Probably not. It's fine. Oh, okay. Now we have a different specialization. I see. Should you specialize in the curse? Okay, so in this game, do we have multiple curse skills or only one? There are many. I can either specialize in the curse or in bone spear. So this curse would be the equivalent of Iron Maiden. Yes, right? No. Oh, okay. No, I get it. I finally understood. So it gives extra physical damage whenever the enemies are hit with physical damage. I think it's a little bit different than Iron Ma Maiden then. Because Iron Man is when they hit you. Or your minions, they get hit. What is this? I don't think I ever tried this skill. Oh. Uh, it's just low. Okay, is there any other skill I never tried? Yeah. No, there, there is like a bone... Is, there is like a bone spear that's kind of like a, a little skeleton sperm that goes very slow. It's more like that. I forgot the name of that. Amplify damage. Yes, you heal trumpet. Yes. That's that curse. Wait, how do I go to my specialization here? Wait, I already picked this. What should I pick? I think I'll take... Uh, maybe this. Since it costs no mana. Or maybe Bone Spear. Wandering Spirit is really good. I 
I don't really like it. Okay, let's go with the curse for now then. Because slowing enemies is always nice. Especially because the enemies in this game, they seem very fast. Bone curse deals more damage. Multiplicative. I, I, I love... I love that they're, that they're saying if it's additive or multiplicative. It's so nice! Okay. It's so nice. Yeah. Exactly. Hmm. Nah, I think mine is better. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It's too early to tell. I don't think it matters much right now. I wonder who died here. You can probably... The huge damage thing. You're talking about this? Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so I can curse now. Oh, I feel bad for this thing. Death will not take me. A lot of. Yeah. Do you guys remember the Arid Sumi? website for Diablo 2. I had that entire... I actually really like this. Because it seeks the enemies. Okay, this is actually cool. And I like how they look like little sperms. Okay. Am I going to the right direction? Wait, where am I? Hold on, I am here. We will need to go over here. I think I've changed my specialization. But the slowing enemies is also so good. They're intelligent sperm. Well, to be fair, his sperm is also quite intelligent. It's actually the mechanisms are kind of interesting. I really like this. Cool. Fear my boners and my sperms. Now I'm a true necromancer. How many people can group up and play this together? How many, you guys? Do you guys know? Four? Thank you. Four. The most productive play that I have had of multiplayer of a game like this was when I would kill an entire room in Diablo 2 with characters that were myself, just standing in town. So the game would be harder and I would level up faster and better loot would drop. Okay, what was that noise? It sounded like a level up something. I'm playing single player. If the oh well, four if the ser servers are alive. That's good. oh, that's a chest. God, I don't think. Okay, so can I do anything useful with items? No, right? Wicked fox. Necromancers tend to be very lonely, so they make their own friends. And that's why they're a little bit weird. Bottom right corner. Oh, so I leveled up my skill. <gasps> Who have the huge boner? Wait, are they bigger? Yeah. I was expecting bigger. A bit. Kinda disappointed. Uh, maybe this one's I'll go for quantity over size. 
Yeah, I don't think so. You're right. Only plus 20%? I don't know, I wanted like a huge skeleton, you know? I don't know if this is worth it. For necromancers, going to the graveyard is like going to the club. Yeah. You know what's funny? I like going to the club to dance. And... Uh, that is too worthless, anyway. I like how the AoE gives me some time to get out. And then I got... Worthless, anyway. Exhausted. Of getting flirted with. So I stopped going to the club. And I kept playing even more video games. And I feel like my life became more productive then. You can dance at the graveyard too. I really hate graveyards. This is better. What's forging potential? Right. Why is this one big name? It's a pipe that's good enough for a paladin to put it up their butts. I don't know, they just make me uneasy. Here we go. Ooh. This is rare. You know, we go. Yeah, I know it's a future option. There is something about this item that makes it better. I'm not sure why. And that's what I was asking. Wait, 25 health? It's okay, we're gonna find something better. I'll stop picking up trash. I'll turn the item. Fine. Do you guys think that making my bon boner bigger is worth it? Yeah, you can sell stuff, but I've heard it's not worth it. Yeah, I do think more bo boners might be better. I think in the case... It's a matter of how. No, 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 no. You're misunderstanding my question. I'm not talking about penises. I'm talking about skeletons in game. If you get penis enlargement emails, I think you should ignore those. Those are usually a scam. Too late? Oh god. Diego, thank you so much for the five months. <laughs> May the bunnies be with you. I really need to make my hotkeys more comfortable because I usually like playing these games using mostly my mouse and right now zero of my mouse buttons are being used. Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Killmeister. You should stop taking those pills. They're probably just sugar. Well, you would hope they're just sugar. And not something worse. <laughs> Bashi Pirate, thank you so much. We started this stream with a pirate music. And I had my pirate, pirate hat. It was amazing. Ooh, thank you for the four months. Thank you. <laughs> I am just... Uh, full of nonsense. Like, good nonsense? Yeah, I need you to skill something better in here. I think I'll put the curse on my right click. I'm just overwhelmed. Gosh. What is this transplant? Create a new body. What? Guys. 
Can I change this to not be this? Because I like to have a skill that's shift click. If I hold shift, my character does not stop moving. Panic. <gasps> cool. Oh shit. Hold on. Just for the sake of my mouse, I like teleport to be here. Okay. Cool. Let me take this out. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. I'm just... I'm still figuring out my controls. Here we go. This is better. Do I have... This is the passive. Do I have... Uh... Yes. I do have something here. Let me respec. Okay, so... so If I respec this, this is bad? No, I just want to remove the points. Oh, but if I respec... I will lose the level of the skill. How do I just remove this one point? Just keep the big boners? I think I'll remove archers. That's actually good. Oh, I can't. Wait. But I can level up this because it's level two. Oh, in town there's a person. Okay. Okay. Let's increase the area. Because I like when my curses are big. Okay. No, it's okay. We'll just keep our big boner. We did this enlargement surgery, so we may as well stick to it. I can still feel the flame searing across me. Stealing my wing and my eye. Yet... I saw it. No! Flames of prophecy revealed that these rats hid a treasure. One f I can still feel that every trinket I've gathered has been a step closer to this moment. The epoch will be the pinnacle of my collection. When I present this to Raya, this power, he will finally understand how worthy I am. Oh, I see. What I have sacrificed. All for him. But if I back up one point at a time, do I lose anything? You're here for the epoch. Ben. Reaching me was impressive. Ben. But it's mine. Call member wing. Panica. Panica. Panic. This is the boy. Oh, this is so cool. No. Hold on. I'm getting used to my skills. Hold on. He charge. He angry. Hold on. How do I? Guys, I fucked this up. I changed my skills. And now I'm just confused. How long does my curse... Oh, they slow last a lot shorter. Oh, he's very... Oh, you see? Oh, but my mana is... Goes to hell. Cool. So cool. Wait, I only have one boner? What a cool fight! Oh! Oh, panic! Panic! I got distracted! It was so nice! Cool! Hava! 
Karma. Hey, Karma. Are all the bosses in this game awesome like this? That's awesome. They get better? Wow. Cool. Oh, Big Karma, here. thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting Blackjack and Hookahs for my bunny. Did we even get anything good? I don't think so. We got a ring. And another ring. And... Cool. First boss has more moves than Alf Diablo 4 bosses combined. I know! Oh, Terra. <sighs> my knees. Such large <laughs> creatures, those hospitals sure build a tiny cage. Yeah, some of the Diablo bosses were good. I feel like, honestly, the bosses were not a problem of Diablo. The, the biggest problem of Diablo was the itemization. Yeah. I did like the Diablo give you a dodge. That was really cool, actually. Diablo 4. Are you okay? Thank I will you, be, Mugion. thanks to you. May the bunnies be with you. Thank Let me you. just grab these. There. The shards of the epoch are safe. I was worried for a moment. You mentioned those before. What are they? The epoch. Oh, it's a Terra's most sacred artifact. Holding great power. No, I feel like the, the reason what disappointed me most about Diablo 4 was that. I feel like that game could have such great potential if they paid attention to the things that truly matter for a game like this. The itemization and, I don't know, maybe a little bit better skill system. But I do think that even though simplistic, Diablo 4 was fun. The only problem is... A game like this requires a certain depth that Diablo did not have. I find that probably Diablo 2 is a lot of a deeper game than Diablo 4. The epoch. Okay. The power to travel through time. Excuse me? If Raya were to get his talons on it, he would surely win the war. Oh, shit. More than that, he'd be untouchable. Okay. So what now? Now, I find a new course of action. Take the epoch somewhere Raya can't reach. So, you're saying that now we'll be able to travel through time? Which, speaking of... Let's head back to camp. I must reach Lena at once. Well, the cutscenes, the audio of Diablo is excellent, right? That's why it hurts to me that the actual gameplay is, you know. Am I fucking things up? I must remind myself to find suitable provisions for Emberwing. Prey in this area upset a drake's stomach. <gasps> Did Our we kill the particular. dragon too, or only the guy? Oh, panic. Oh. Hey. Hey. CT, this is the most comfy and the softest thing ever. In fact, this is actually for, uh, for sponsorship. And, and, and I don't have the things for the sponsorship ready. But I really didn't want you to really wait really to use this because shall. I really wanted to use this today. It's so soft and it's so nice. It's so nice. I love it. Hey, so like, mm, thank you. And if you guys want, to, if you guys want the link to get this, uh, you can get ten percent off if you use my code. And here, look. You have a big pocket that you can you can probably put a Steam Deck and a Nintendo Switch in here. I think you can. It might be possible, you see? And it's like It's so soft. It's so soft. I love 
I love it. So, for those of you who like to game naked, wrapped in your blankets, it's like perfect. Because then if you go outside, get your Uber Eats or whatever you ask delivered, because I know you wouldn't go outside to buy food yourself, at least nobody will be seeing your bits. And you'll be comfy. And I'm not even supposed to, but it's so nice! Ah. <laughs> Don't be out play video games naked. You know, I really wish I could, but since I'm streaming, I can't. Unless if I'm willing to change websites. <sighs> and the thing is... It would be nice to stream naked and people not sexualizing you, you know? But since that's not possible, it's kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> it makes sense, right? <clears throat> yeah, it's impossible. Well, can you guys give me one second? I have something cool. Guys! Ha! Hell yeah! You see? But, but, you know? You just. <laughs> what a horrible day to have eyes. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> ben Wong. Jokes on you, that's your cake. I mean, sure. I know. How am I liking like last episode? I just saw the first boss in the game and it looked amazing. And it sounded amazing. And it had so many amazing moves. And it didn't have any... It, 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 it didn't even have a phase. Oh gosh. I need to flash you guys more often. <laughs> can I be honest with you guys? I think uh, you can almost fit two of me in here. So, so, if I had a twin sister, we could be inside this together. <laughs> I love it. And, and it also has, you know, the finger hole. So, 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 wait, the finger hole? Huh, I could have pra praised that better, right? <laughs> yeah, you see, you can put your, your fingers on... <laughs> I can't fit many bunnies in here. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> what were we doing? I need to travel back. Here. Just that. Every hole is a finger hole if you're brave enough. Don't be brave enough. Being brave and stupid is a very thin line. It's Hera's blessing. Uh, so... Your sister died. They... I'm sorry. So sorry. You're welcome. Hey, free gold and free XP. Hmm. Okay, does anyone Rise else have a quest? You. Can it's I Hera's rob the blessing. things from an... I, you know, Rise that's one thing you. I don't like about games like this. You can't rob NPCs. And I find that robbing NPCs is one of my favorite hobbies in He's RPGs. Back. Hi, and it's all thanks to you. <laughs> Under Underwired, can I be honest with you? I didn't mean to f to fit any innuendo. I, I I English is not my main language, so so like for example, I I try to describe cake batter as cake goo. Once I was playing a game with shooting, and I accident I I I just. 
forgot the word bullet. So I said gun juice. <laughs> so sometimes things come out of my mouth that sound wrong. Not on purpose. He's been quiet since he returned. If you could speak with him, I'd be grateful. Then we can begin our Sometimes talks. it's on purpose. Not ours. But it. Chiki. You're back. Yeah, so what? Now, we must protect the Epoch. Find a way Soraya won't get to them. <laughs> does he... Does he know about your power? Not fully. Eterra left their secrets to us and to us alone. Okay. Gunji's flamethrower. Well, I guess. It's true. I have, uh, Ideas. Though, Lena will disagree. Well, we are keepers after all. Protectors of Itera's past. <laughs> Collectors of lost history. Do you think we've made a mistake? Going through the motions. Keeping the shards hidden, it's, it's, it's all been ritual. I feel as though drastic times are upon us. It might be time, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> you know about them too. Fate has already shown its hand. I apologize. You might become part of something greater. Listen, I already opened the map and I noticed that I can travel through time on the map. So I know I'll have the last epoch. How do I get it? I only have two shards, but that's enough. I'll keep them safe. Lena, I'm sorry. Uh... uh it, heal, you can use the commanding shot. Frank, can you use the, co the, the, the commanding shot for the link? Hold on. For the hoodie. Uh, here. Torokami. Torokami. Ah, it's so nice. It's so comfy. Thank you. Thank you, Zenner. Thank you, Frank. Thank you. Mwah. And you get 10% discount if you use yeah. the code Duality. I'm not officially sponsored yet, but I will have an official sponsored stream. I also got some other things from them. But I, I was dying to wear this. I just needed to wear this today. <laughs> and I didn't want to wait for the sponsorship stuff to be ready. So, I hope you understand. Exo, the, I'm sorry you, thank you for too. the four months of support. May Which the bunnies be here. For us all. Angelicus, they probably the will tell you power. the material on the I'm website. Be able to... Panic? They will probably tell you the material on their website, but I will tell you it feels really nice and I'm very picky with soft things. You know that I have a very soft, a very soft rabbit. So, so, and I love soft stuff. And this is peak quality soft. I, I just really like this type of soft. It doesn't feel, there, there is some, uh, how do I say this? There is some soft blank that feels like a little bit uh, acid when you you touch them you know so they really bother me and this one does not feel like that at all save it yeah 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 okay yeah let's when when do we get to the sponsorship we talk about it yeah but but it's not like this hey sorry 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 i i, I Yep. But it's your soft dick is no good. Well, listen, it I wasn't talking me. about penises. Impossible. <laughs> For once. Impossible. Can I disable? Oh, you guys see Boo? Can can I disable eludes me. the character complaining when I use this skill when it's on cooldown? It eludes me. Because I'll do that all the time. Impossible. How do I disable that? Hello. It's impossible. It, impossible. It eludes me. It eludes you know? me. So. Mute error voices. Thank God. Awesome. 
No, no, it's Audrey. It appears to be one of the shards of the epoch that Baltus had. It looks like it only has been here so long as you have. Baltus and the other shards are nowhere in sight. I, I'm loving it! I'm loving it! Oh, we just fought the first boss and it was amazing, Fun. Oh, mm, thank you for the what five months. What just happened? This place is fascinating. Oh no. Different, but oh no. Somehow the same. Oh no. Oh no. What's that place in Path of Excel where everything looks red and there was those tiny worms coming off of the map? This map really reminds me of that place and it gives me it freaks me out. Hey, Nico. Hey, Nico. Your butthole? <laughs> Belly of the Beast. I think that's the place. <laughs> God, I can't look at the map in that area. I literally have to play with my eyes squinting so I don't see that the little worms everywhere. It's so bad. Error. Mm, thank you so much for the two months of support. May the bunnies be with you. There, there's multiple places, but I think Valley of the Beast is one of them. Does this do damage when I teleport? I see, it does. Cool. Hold on. I'm... I think I'll swap... This... With this... And this with this. <gasps> I need to be more careful. I'm playing hardcore. Seven circle as well? Maybe. Maybe. I miss having more bonus. Can I have two? Okay, good. And who are you? Hmm. Wait, what? I could ask you the same thing. Don't play dumb. Um... I don't look like a cultist because I'm not! You miss having more what? <laughs> uh, boners. Uh, I call my skeletons boners. Yeah. Okay. He, he told me something I should know. But... I'm too eager to find others. I kind of need resistance to zap. Oh boy. Thank you for warning me about that. Holy shit, the monsters look really cool. Okay. Open a town portal. I did it on accident. We drop, we drop, we drop. Cool. I was always happy to upgrade my potion slots in Diablo with the new belts. Movement speed. Let's go. Okay, cool. Dodge rating. Movement speed, dodge rating. This is a bit better. But this is kind of trash. <gasps> Hello? I have a bunch of good shit in my inventory that I'm not using. This is pretty. Increased cast speed. Dude, so much better. Okay, my character should be a lot better now. Forge? How do I forge? Oh yeah, shift right click. Thank you. Thank you. It looks uh, exactly like in Diablo. Not exactly. Not exactly. Riprat, how are you doing? Dear Lord, tell me about it. 
Salin, I am doing... I'm doing great today, actually. Thank you so much for, for asking. Oh, may the bunnies be here. Minimum skill level increased. Okay, so we can... Uh, What? Bone curse comes a toggled aura which surrounds you. But it has reduced area and drains your mana over time. That's so cool. But then it also affects me, so I take more damage. That seems like a bad idea. But that's so cool. Plus 10% damage. I think I'll add this low. I think this low is really good. For things like that. Yeah. Uh, can I... Can I level up my boners yet? Oh! <gasps> oh, please! We got a golem? No, do I remove the archer? No, I can't. No, I can't. I thought I had points. Okay, it goes ready. <gasps> oh! He's not cute at all. I hate him. Okay, he's kind of cute. Right? Ah. Uh, he definitely ha has a charm. He's a big boy. What's this? Much better than whatever we have. I am losing health really fast. And that's really horrifying. Terra watch over you. A guard sent me. I came from outside. Still, you have no presence about you as if... Mm. Mm? Do you have a shard on you? It's a long story. I'm protecting it. From a distance, it's kind of cute. It's true. I feel like he's really cute until you look at his face. You can make him really big though? Okay, cool. Is the inside account? It's probably dead people and the composing corpses. Okay. Why didn't you take it to him? Oh, he's not in shape. I mean, he looks really old. Okay, I go. Gods. We go to the refuge. This is fine. Death Sudoni, I played Diablo 4 with Necromancer. It was great. It was great. But I find that in higher levels, the game becomes a lot less exciting. So, I moved on a little bit. Right, thank you for the 13 months of support. May the bunnies be here. Thank you. Oh, I'm strong. Yes? Uh, I have a shard. It can help us. Right, thank you. I must do this, please. Very well. Yeah, sure. The guy hates himself. God be with you. Same. So we we did travel. Okay, hold on. Oh, I'm killing myself. <gasps> with this. Blind Science, mm, thank you so much for supporting. Blackjack and hookers for my bunny. Thank you. I appreciate your support. What are you saying? <laughs> Hold on. I might need to swap this skill. I'll probably go back to the blood. It's safer. Minimus, run you stupid mutt. Leave me. Oh, I'll help them. 
Okay. Oh, is this his dog? Oh, he's telling his dog to run? Oh, I can't let his dog die. Can I kill the man so I keep his dog? I'll help them. He's dying anyways, right? I need to keep the dog safe. I can talk with the dog! Oh, hey. Thank you, Petravis. Thank you. Out this. Luality 10. Luality 10. Hmm. I'm here to relay orders to evacuate. Get out of here, you dumb fuck! Farewell. Is this what I'm doing here? Penny. This is fine. At least now I stopped losing health. Maybe if I had a high enough shield... ...it would be okay for me to lose health. To cast that item. Oh, take the quest? Oh, wait! I did take the quest! Where are you going? God. I don't know. Okay, we can... Oh, we can open this. Okay, so there is two ways. One down here. <laughs> Probably down here we'll need... We'll help the dog. And right now... We need to help the dog. It's okay. We back. My boners finally stopped dying. Ooh, we got a good belt. Hold on. Much better than ours. You saw Rogue? Really? That's okay, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, I didn't press X. So... Do you guys prefer when I have the map on the side or on my... I feel like the map is not transparent enough for this. Gosh. I am sorry, guys, that I'm a little bit more quiet now. I... I I'm just like so overwhelmed because there's so many new things in this game. That, like... I wasn't ready to... to talk about. I love how you can change everything in this game. Wait, what are you talking about, Dibu? What? Wait, what was the name of that enemy? It was the edgiest shit I ever read in my life. It had void, despair, hate? Gods be with you. The void is staring the last refugee apart. I cleared a, a path, flee! Okay, go. Yes. Okay, we Try see. Try not to hurt yourself. I... So, items are just not worth selling them. Or anything to the effect. Wait, this is a... Gives me dexterity? Poison resistance? Increases spell damage. Okay, but which one looks cuter? Hmm... You don't need to look goblin that's visible. <gasps> what does this mean? Okay. This ring is the best thing I have. So I can increase the fire resistance. Cool. What's this? Modifies the outcome of a craft. 
Okay, so this changes the item. We don't want to do that. Let's take this one and try this. Randomly changes to a different. It cannot change a prefix into a suffix. Okay, of course. Okay, so... Acolytes? But what does acolyte mean? We... So... Okay, I think the prefixes, the two decks, is not good. Let's actually try this, just to see what happens. Can I also add... A Oh, I can add a suffix. Lightning resistance. Cool. Okay, let's see what happens. I don't know what I'm doing, but we'll learn by try. We add. Hey! Which Diablo game is this? Better. Wait, it didn't change. But we did add plus 10% lightning resistance. That's cool. Okay. But now I'm afraid to change that. So we have void re resist. Can I can I transform something to a rare item? Find your face, find your face, find your face, find your face. Medados, the shop from what I see, it's only cosmetics. No fix. Thank you so much for for your subscription. Thank you. Okay, so I can. Thank you so much for your support. May the bunnies be with you. Mwah! Yeah, a game like this, if you add pay to win stuff in the shop, you're basically killing your own game, because the entire point that keeps people playing this game is to get stronger, right? And if you can get stronger by just paying for it, then you don't have a point, a reason to play the game. So, the smart way to monetize a game like this is chromatics only. Otherwise, the game would just be dead in a month. This is very different than MMORPG mentality. Like Diablo Immoral? Yes. Because, at least from my standpoint, when I started playing Diablo for the first time, I thought it was cool that I could beat up monsters for loot. But in Diablo Immoral, it's like the game is beating you up for your loot. You can also have physical resistance. So, is physical resistance the same as armor? What does armor do? I'm so confused. What is gifting? Oh my gosh, it organized my mass. Okay, hold on. So. I want to change the prefixes of this boot. Boot. This modifies the outcome of a class when adding an affix. Okay, this... Does it change... the, the suffixes? Oh, I see. Okay, no, it does something else. Hold on, I'm covering. Upgrades the level. Okay, so I can upgrade the level of the item?
to the level of the node. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 So, so. Hold on. If I want to make that the boots give me more health, I can upgrade this. Okay. Is there any way I can increase the base stats? It only gives 8% movement speed. No, those I cannot, right? Okay. So this one allows me... Oh, this is cool. So let's say, if I want to increase the mana regeneration, I do... Oh, I need to be level 12. Okay, that's one level. We'll try that. Okay, just trying to understand. Cool. Shrouded Void Despair of Ice? Wait. No, this is not good for us. Oh, sir! Sir, sir! Is this on character or account found? Uh, so right now I'm playing single player. But, but I think your stash is shared between your account, if I'm not mistaken. Can, can you guys correct me if I'm wrong? I found something. Oh, <gasps> unique. <gasps> oh, oh, panic. Wait, there is no identification. Seven percent to summon a primal serpent on kill with serpent strike. Wait! This is for a ranger, right? This seems like a ranger item. Does this count as... No. Is this any good for us? Slow on hit and poison on hit seems really good. Does it count? Does, I wonder if throwing this blood counts for that. No, I don't think I'm poisoning. Your death has. Oh, this is such a pity. Ah, oh, of course the first unique item I find is not for me. Yeah, but I don't think it does anything for me. Yeah. It makes me want a ranger too. Damn it. But hopefully we'll find something for us. Respect to a ranger, I would need to play a different character. Oh, it is poisoning them! A five! Okay, that's good. It is poisoning them. Okay, cool! Dreams everywhere. That's nice. Is it me or condition damage seems really weak for right now? But it could, condition damage is only relevant on uh, on bosses what with large health. Okay, I cleared the path. I Tara's saved this guy. With you. Okay, so. How can I get to the next boss fast as possible? I want to see another one of these. Is it though? Well, damage over time is usually like it's usually best when when you're fighting something with a lot of health, right? Like a boss. 
I don't make the roll. If if things have sh uh, little health, the direct damage is usually always better. I'm on the right side. Uh, Viltris. Gameplay wise, this game seems a lot like a lot more well taught than Diablo. Like the skills and the way uh, the, this game. If Diablo, let's say, was released with gameplay like this, I feel like it would have had a much better reception. And it was definitely made by people who worked in Diablo. Yes, Path of Exile is my top three played game on Steam. But even though I have over thousands, thousand hours in that game, I, I'm still a, a noob. <gasps> That looks so cool. Yeah. Could it be that that is... Because Path of Exile is an extremely complex game. Is burning also being applied? I need to throw this trash away. I learn. I learn. We found other boots? I think those new boobs are better. Poison resistance 19%? Isn't that pretty good? <laughs> I missed the scream. I, I missed. I, I I I am. I I really want to show you guys the 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 Keep bosses. The bosses are so fucking cool. Wait, I I I need to defend this guy. Oh my god, where's my sperm skill? Oh. Only a little longer. Wait, where are my sperms? Here. Okay, this is better. This is fine. I'm healthy. I'm healthy. Them off me. You see? You see? Tell me those don't look like sperms. <laughs> but it hurts That's my it. mana. Go on. I'll be right behind you. Okay, so I can't do anything with items, right? Evil nurse. Wait, is that guy still following me? He said he was right behind me. They kind of yeah. do. Okay, so we helped. Nice. But so that unlocked us a uh, passive point. Blood pack. You deal increased damage, but you lose a percentage of your maximum health each second if you have killed an enemy recently. Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, Shaza. You can destroy an item to take the suffixes and prefixes. Oh, a tank. Okay. This seems like a dangerous thing to get. But maybe if we have health regen higher than this. Oh, look at that. Our next ta talent will increase health regen. Hmm. Which begs the question... Should I just wait to put points here? Yeah, it doesn't give damage to my minions. 
Oh, this gives minion uh, minion damage. What's the revenant? Dark ritual. Your minions have increased attack and cast speed, but this also applies to you if you have used a minion skill. <gasps> oh, is revenant? Okay, so when my health reaches 50%, there is a Revenant. That gets summoned. This seems really cool. Okay. How long does it last? It doesn't say. Mommy, thank you. Thank you so much for the three months of support. May the bunnies be with you. Thank you. Okay, so it does rapidly fade from this world. Press A to give your minions an attack command. Okay, I can actually tell my minions to attack shit? Cool. <gasps> That's amazing! But now if they are not attacking something I want them to attack, I can't call them stupid anymore. I hate it. I love complaining about shit. And I have less things to complain about. How many points have did I have? Okay, this is good. Hi, 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 Dunko. How are you doing? Can we still call it stupid? I, I guess we can. I see. We also got our skills to level. Do we remove the archers? No. Let's just go... From... Maximal health for the warriors and damage for the archers. We unlock the necromancer tree at level 20. We're almost there. I think we're level 11 now? Bone Curse costs less mana and has increased cast speed. I kind of regret putting things into this curse. I regret specializing into the curse. Can I specialize into sperms? It basically costs... I like the idea of the curse, but... No, I'll keep the curse for now. Because the slow is always good. Yeah, I saw your message, Hiato. I saw it. You... I can sense that you have a shard of the Epoch. But I that do. is impossible. No, it's not, because I have you? I am a random player, but I'm the main character, you know, because I bought the game and all that. I see. We have relied on the power of our shard for ages, always assuming the others were lost. And it seems only tapping into a fraction Gilgamesh. of its potential. Stop. Must be between the letters. Mm, thank you. That was a fast year. Let's try for two. Let's go! Thank you so much for the one year of subscription. Must be between the letters. Mwah! Thank you! You were brought forward in time by the Shard. If you want to return to your time, we will need to use them together. If the Void like does the Power not Rangers? consume us first, of course. Oh, like the Power Rangers. 
Or Captain Planet? Captain Planet 2. Okay, how are you planning to deal with the Void? Elder Panion is an expert at using the Shard. He can weaponize it against the Void. Okay. I have received word that his study is under attack. We may be out of time. Okay. Why in every game, the Void is always the enemy? The Void needs love too, right? Like, there, there's some cute Voidlings that, that... You know, they could be adopted and... And just because you're a little bit chaotic and, you know... Voidless of everything... Doesn't mean they're inherently evil. What can I do? Everyone here is either too old or too injured to go warn Elder Panion. Except for you. Please... Find him and have him return here before something terrible happens. Oh, yes, he does. Please take these idols with you. Can you have An like a void idol path? of Logon to guard you against chaos void and one of a terror to guide you home. Well, wherever that may be. Here's the thing I did adopt a peeper, and he's a void chicken, so. The gods have long left this world, yep. but their memory will give you Ooh, comfort. Hey, Be Thank safe, you. traveler. Thank you, Gemini. Thank you so much for six months of support. May the bunnies with you. Are you giving me a void? Thank you. Mwah. Thank you. Thank you guys for all the support to Blackjack and Hookers for my bunny. Okay, so he's giving me this. What the fuck is this? Idols grant your character bonuses. <gasps> Increase poison and minion damage. Oh. Cool. So they're like dildos of power. I can only use one right now. We go? We go. This is crazy. So, we were here, and then we got teleported here. Wait. Where the fuck are we? Ruined era. So, wait, this is the past? So... What? It wouldn't be the future? But... Oh, that's why we want to go back. Well, if the future looks so bleak... What's the point? Ah, oh, thank you, show me your gums. I... This you really is so yeah. soft. I, I... I... I'm supposed to have a sponsorship for this. But... 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 I... I couldn't wait until the sponsorship to use it. That's why I'm using it. But in a few days, we'll have a sponsored stream that I'll show you guys this stuff. Just, just ignore it for now. Ask me again in a few days. Yes. Damn, I can't die now. My work is nearly complete. Your work? Yes, you're researching to the Im Immortal Empire. Ah, oh, thanks. And you see, it has like potions and and bows and staffs. Yeah, it's cool. Did you get the side quest for this area? Did I? Well. I don't think so. It is. It is. Little blankies next. Oh man. I love blankets. Every day I sleep with seven different blankets. We have little time. Please find Panion. We have little time. Yeah, the guy's Please hurrying me. Find I love blankets. Oh, maybe here. What is this? Okay. 
Okay. This is where we might need to go soon. Okay, so... This is the side quest icon, right? What is this tiny quest icon then? What? I will accept your thanks by allowing you to repay me with a favor. Allow me to what? I know this looks screams, but we have to keep hope. We must believe that we'll survive this. That I will survive this. I will believe on our survival so much that I need you to go to my quarters and find my ledger. Okay, why? Oh, just in case any fools think this disaster somehow erases the debts they owe me. Oh. Oh, but we get a good trinket. Go on then. But I feel like an asshole for doing that. Bah. Is the same guy, but in the past? <gasps> cool. Uh, Angelicus... It depends on the area that, that you are. In the future, things look very bleak. But in the present, it looks very nice. <sighs> and friendly. And bright. But not like a pink fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. I love this. How the map just goes to the corner. Talk to the gambler guy? Wait, you can gamble? Who's the gambler guy? We'll go back in town and then we'll talk to him. Do we have a quest here? Yes, we do. Oh, look at all my sperms! They kill everyone. Yeah, it's a song. Think of the unicorns dancing on rainbow. It's a very old song. If you have been around on the internet for long enough, you should know that one. How much are we slowing them? We're actually crushing everything. So that's no bad. Okay. This is the ledger. We peak. Ground converted dab to a dozen bundles of meat, four casks of grown milk. Okay. So, 500 gold. 1200 gold. And. Okay. I refuse to play more games of chance. Oh! <gasps> Shit! So maybe the gambler will also be able to give us something for this? Woo! Level 13! How bad? We'll level up in a second, as soon as we get to safety. Don't give it to the gambler? Why not? What if it's this bunny gambling on blackjack and hookers? Give it to the other guy. Okay, fine. He, thank you, Fagno. Thank you. Thank you. I I do look so good today. Oh, I see. I see. Can I talk with? Well, the gambler is also in town. I didn't see it. Both were kind of bad for me. Can I can I rip the ledger into half? Give half to the gambler and half to the guy that asked me. You know, Chris, maybe I can convince them to 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 make one like that. But I find it to be very unlikely. <laughs> Like is Luca, if you are horny and you want something to turn you on, I recommend you going to Pornhub, jerk one off, and then come back and act like a normal person in my shot. What? Okay, so 
Didn't you promise me a reward? Oh. Goodbye. Nice. Oh. Oh, cool. Oh, that's so cool. Well, that's better than everything I have. That's amazing. Thank you for telling me. Thank you, Hayato. I know, I know. I don't think horny people are bad people. They just but... don't know when to be horny and when to behave like a normal human being. Okay, so we need to find a study. Hmm. Is it here? It's sealed. Maybe I need to talk with. Hold on. Oh, it shows. It is here, right? It has to be. Mizora. She's a horny devil. How do we get that? Find Panyon's study. Oh, no, it's over there. Okay, so we do need to go to the last archives. Okay. Nakta, this game... Honestly... I, I, I kind of wish that I played it a little bit off stream. Because then I would be less overwhelmed on the stream. Because there is a lot of little information that I would love to tell you guys and share with you guys. But hopefully, I'll get the hang of this really quickly. Yeah, plasma balls. Yeah. You know, sometimes being girl on the internet itself... Even though girls do not exist on the internet. It's like unicorns, right? Except... I personally find unicorns to be very stupid. Like... Who the fuck... Who the fuck would prefer a unicorn over a Pegasus? One is a flying horse. And the other is a horny horse that farts rainbows. What's more impressive to you? Yes, yeah, a Pegasus. Pegasus. You want a flying unicorn? You know what I'm scared? That very soon in this game, there will be some enemies that will one-shot me. I forgot to do this. There will. Yeah, that's what I'm getting scared of. But is there any specific time? Or is there a thing it's also much more support to blackjack and hit it for my bunny? He's also very horny, you know, but he keeps his horniness controlled. I'm black. <gasps> I was talking about this. Huh. Pegasus is badass. Unicorns are corny. Exactly. I don't know, why are... Why do people talk about unicorns a lot more than Pegasus? Do they shoot lasers from their horns? Okay, they sound a little bit cooler now. Yeah, well, Pegasus are magic too. No, that's sharks. Pen. 
Okay, bone armor. I really want this. Maybe I should have a gun for this first. We also have one more here, which will watch is low. Because this low is really good. Okay. Is there any other points I forgot to add? You can impale people with the horn. Would be pretty cool. Hmm. Magic donkey? What's the opposite of an erection? Like this... Can the PP go inside your body? That's what... <laughs> That's what a magical donkey sounds to me. <gasps> okay! I'm getting fucking scared! Okay! 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 Okay, I need to take this more seriously. Google magic donkey. You know what you should Google? A reverse centaur. The top part is a horse and the bottom part is a man. It's disturbing as fuck. Okay, we found the right place. Okay. I, I feel like I have been very overly confident. Uh oh. Whenever there is two people kneeling at a woman, that's usually bad news. Or anyone's. I have a bad feeling about this. This place looks kind of like a boss arena because it's kind of round. No, I don't, Angelicus. I don't. What are you doing? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. They look so cool. But it looks like it could kill me at any time. <gasps> oh. Maybe we should use that one. Yard is the shield, right? They're just general knowledge, right? I don't really do fire damage, right? No, this is better. I really want to find my unique items. They look so cool. They do so many cool things. I always like the unique items that change your appearance. Is there any of those in this game? General knowledge is a government myth. I have been around the internet for a long time, so I have a lot of random internet knowledge. And a lot of things I wish I didn't Hamian's know. Hamian's students were corrupted. Okay. I see. Okay, this is so cozy. It's like, it's the softest and best thing ever. It's actually for a sponsorship. But I decided to use it before I did the sponsorship because it looks so nice and cozy. <laughs> yes. They say Panyon was was after the shard. Where is he? Elder Panyon was here but a moment ago. He took the shard. I told him to wait, but he would not listen. Thank you, thank you, Zanary. Yeah, the, the link is in chat, and if you use Luality Ten, you get ten percent discount. But again, I'm not supposed to be advertising for this today, okay? But it's so nice. But, but we'll have a sponsored stream for this uh, in a few days. <laughs> Which... 
I fear the Void is manipulating yes, him, does. turning his courage into arrogance. Oh, He's no. left to face the Void alone. Yeah, here's the thing, though. Why are they blaming the Void? The guy just has a shitty character and he's projecting. He's shitty! It has nothing to do with the Void! You must intercept Elder Panion before the Void claims him and seizes the Shard. Knowing <laughs> him, he is headed where the Void broke into the city. Well, Scott, I actually really wanted to wear this yesterday. But, but, but... I... I, I actually messaged the person that's helping me with the sponsorship and I told them that it was really hard for me to not use it and they said it was okay if I used it, that's why I'm using it today. <laughs> Even though this stuff is not ready. <laughs> Please. But I was dying him. to use it yesterday. <gasps> okay, I'll stop. I'll stop the, the senpai from bullying us. We need to restart. Reach the precipice. I know, right, Uncle? I love that. I love it. Hey, Dream Driven, how are you doing? We are playing hardcore. Did you ever hear about Diablo and Path of Exile? This game is like Diablo and Path of Exile had sex, and this is their baby. Not, ex not too complex. But not too simple. Sounds like just the perfect amount. Yes, huh. Romana. I'm I'm honestly really liking it. By the way, I'm not sponsored to play this game. But it looks so good. I like it. I like it. Diablo lost everything. You know, that dude gamer. When I was four years old, I remember my dad killing Diablo for the first time. I was so scared that I was hiding behind his chair. Usually, I would help him with his healing potions. But I was so scared that I was just hiding. And I was speaking above his shoulder. And when he finally killed Diablo, and I saw the warrior take the soul stone from the, the prince's body and put it in his head, I was like, Dad, there's gonna be a Diablo too! And I played a lot of Diablo too. So yes. As somebody who has such childhood memories of the game, Diablo has disappointed me a lot. But I still find happiness in other ways. Enjoy. You know, maybe if you know, if their attempt at making a Diablo tree wasn't so disappointing, you know, Path of Exile would never exist, or this game would never exist. And it's always nice for game types to have friendly. Did I get my iguana pet drop? I don't know. How do I check that? I don't know how do I check that. Uh, I actually played out of Diablo 2 uh, at some point on stream. We also played Diablo 1 on stream too. Hide Atlas. I do believe that Diablo 2 has possibly the best itemization in any game like this. There was just something so good about the way that they made the items work in that game. It's just... I feel like it's the only thing that has 
carry the game for so long, right? Uh, I think it counts, Frank, but I would need to um, unlock it. Is skin and pets are disabled offline? Oh, I see. Well, I probably have it though. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to do with this stuff. But since it's rare... Elemental resistance. You know... I think I'll just use this. How do I unlock more stuff there? This... Yeah. And honestly... Even though I, I truly believe the Path of Exile has been doing great, you know? Because they have been releasing so many... So much content for the game every few months and all this. A good and a friendly competition makes things even better for everybody. So... If this game keeps getting updated and on pair with what Path of Exile has, has been doing... I feel like uh, it could be great for this entire genre of ga gaming. And if you like this kind of game, it's definitely a good good thing. It's always nice to have like options. It would especially be nice if they timed their seasons, you know, that they made sure that the seasons didn't overlap. Because then people can easily enjoy both games a lot. Yeah. How is the weather in France? I'm not sure. <laughs> Crizo. Diablo 2 is, again, a very old game right now, right? And yet it still holds so much... So much people playing it over the years. And in fact, the fact that uh, Diablo 2 lost Game of the Year to Baldur's Gate 2 is the only reason why my dad got Baldur's Gate and I got introduced to Baldur's Gate. Because he thought, wow, we, play we spent all this time playing Diablo and some other game got Game of the Year? We need to check it out. And I'm glad he did. Even though Baldur's Gate wasn't much of my dad's liking. Panic! Uh... Panic! 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 Okay, panic! 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 He... He big! He big! Oh my god. Oh my god, my minion's died. Oh god, I'm overwhelmed. Panic, panic. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Did you know... That this is what happens to your PP if you don't wash it? in time and pick the loot. A five! <laughs> Kaga. No, Benly, I just say panic because I panic. This game is so cool. I, I, I really love the... all the little things it does, you know? It's the kind of game that uh, I want to learn a lot about. 
Does that make sense? Wait. Was this supposed to happen? Are we supposed to go back? Is it... Wait, this is a side quest? Wait, this crazy sick looking quest is a side quest? No? Yes, I have a loot field. Okay. Okay, so... We went through time. <laughs> Mm, thank you so much for the 32 months of support. I am! The, I'm a little bit overwhelmed because this game is really good and it has a lot of things to it. But I love it. Like, it just gets cooler and cooler. This is... You know... It's missing... It's basically... Only missing those very sick cutscenes. And I would say this game has beat Diablo in most things. I don't know, it's just like so cool. But again, it's too early to tell, you know? Because Diablo... Diablo 4 was really fun until I was level... 70 so I need I, I need to know how the itemization and progression goes you know but so far the first impression that I have of this game is that it's really good uh, I'm playing single player right now level 100 What's the max level? Yeah, exactly. Oh, so... You're saying that the, day, the game drops off at level 100. It's probably because the game just released. But probably... Like, for example... In Path of Excel... The, the game had so many years to add so much to the game that the end game is very rich, right? This game, as they updated, it's gonna get even better, right? And I hope they update it as much. Wait, you have dungeons in this game? Hey, guys, hey! Wait, I got a bunch of items. Oh, I found... I think I found better boots. Those seem to be better. Because it gives us not... I, I also need... I, I also have skills. Panic. 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 Where are my boners? Oh, all my boners are one flat! Panic! Where am I going? Oh, God! Here. Oh, panic. Benly! No, thank you so much for the prime. May the bunny is with you. Thank you for supporting Blackjack and Hocus for my bunny. Is the sword unique? No, I don't think so. We only found two unique items. This is where. Thank you so much, Bendling. Thank you. Okay, so how can I make my golem stronger? Yeah! Can can I actually can I actually respect this? And maybe I should specialize in my oh, but at level 20 I should specialize in the golem, right? It's better than respecting and losing my progression. Hold on. What points do we have? Thank you so much, Benley. Frame Prax. 
That breaks my heart. Wait. I have passives, right? Here. This. <gasps> Causes a target with a powerful necrotic damage over time. Which lasts three seconds. Ooh. Cool. Let's try that instead of the sperm. Cool. And we also got this. Hmm. Maybe that it takes less mana? Brittle bones. Curse deals more damage. Multiple... Okay. And instantly kill enemies that are below health threshold. Isn't that really good? Hi! Hi! Hi, Pulling! That's... Uh-oh. You guys see this? Is it me or this looks like a boss arena? It's really good, Polaga. Okay. Panic. 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 What is this? This looks very suspicious. Got the boss to leave. Uh, calm. We calm. We are very calm. It's almost like we are killing these guys. And we are killing them on inside of this like... Thing. And suddenly a demon is gonna show up. And kill us all. There's something very fishy about this. <laughs> yeah. Turns out the guy ate a lot of Taco Bell and is now mo vomiting it. My minions died. Holy fuck. This is fine. He killed everybody! Huh. This is fine. Boom! High five! The guy literally shits fire. Oh, maybe we'll get something better. No. Ooh. What does our give? Ours has 19 poison resistance though. And poison resistance is a scary thing, right? Hello, it's really good. I have been really enjoying it. Yeah, transfer materials is also really good. Good point. Uh, did they fix the servers? Do you guys know? Yeah, so, uh, you can press transfer materials, so all the upgrade materials you get go tr are transferred to your upgrading tab. Oh, this is the forge! Terra's grace be with you. Okay. Is still there someone in the armory. Okay, I'll find him. Take care of yourself. I will. Hello. You need to see the, the story bosses. They are so fucking cool. We fought one so far. And it was fucking epic. <laughs> like, it was so good. I almost died because I was just like... <gasps> uh, save and body. Right now, since the game just came out, the servers are a little bit... Um... What's a good word to click it, you guys? <gasps> Dying! Oh god, I'm playing hardcore and I almost died! Panic! <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, the servers are dying. So right now I'm playing single player. No, no, the game is optimized. It's different. It's mostly the... You know, you know when there's a lot of people wanting to play a game, but there is not enough space for everybody? That's what's happening. <laughs> Holy panic. Hey, Mike, how are you? Seven body, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. So, you can play it online with four people. You can also use online to trade and things like that. You know. But... Uh, but yeah, the servers are a little bit... Troubled right now. But the game also works offline. So you can play single player. So even if the servers are fucked, you still have a game. Not the same can be said for a lot of games released in 2024. Am I wrong? The servers are going... Is this just the authentication? Yeah. Still, server problems. My minions are dying too easily. Like, I have no idea. It's so far away. I'll worry about that when it's a bit closer. Hey. Oh, okay. Overloaded? Yeah. Applaud. It's not overloaded because the thing is, you can't have enough space in the server to accommodate everyone who wants to play at release. And because later down the road, you will not need that many servers. And there is a very high cost and maintenance cost to maintain a lot of these servers. So, it's unlikely that in our lifetime, we will see online games having smooth server releases. Unless, if the devs are willing to compromise and lose a lot of money into having a bunch of servers they will likely never use again except on the week of release. If that makes sense. It's just not cost efficient. Because at release, most games have a lot of people and then soon after the hype dies and and you don't need as much gods if you don't plan well enough well it's not about planning it's just that there's a limitation there's a limitation of how much you can plan And how much you can do. Angelicos, a lot of times it takes more than just cloud hosting. It, it, it has a bunch of other programming limitations that's more than just having space. It really depends on the kind of service. When it comes to gaming, it's a lot less simple than when it comes to a lot of other things. Especially if you want your game to not have duplication glitches. Like, I knew how to duplicate du duplicate items in Diablo 2. So, there is a bunch of things when it comes to online gaming that you want to maintain the server stability and the quality of su support for, for your people. So, if you want to maintain a reputable amount of things and allowing for less things to be exploited, Carol, you need to do a good you. job. So not just expanding the cloud servers is, is enough. <gasps> Panic! I got another ranger item. Should I go back to Ranger? Is this even good for us? I mean, yes, our items are so trash.
primalis chest? What's the primalist? I'm not very familiar with the classes and everything. Gods be with you. You're welcome. Well, it's safe. Stay safe. I can go back to Ranger and get Necro Drops. Nice. Exactly how thin. But all I'm saying is... The game is great, you know? And uh, as the hype dilutes a bit, the servers will become stable and everything's gonna work and everything's gonna be happy. But until then, it's gonna be like a week, maybe two weeks, until us nerds move on to something else. Like hopefully going outside or something. You guys, I don't know what to do with my items, so I'm just piling them on my stash and I will deal with this shit later. When my stash is full, I'll figure out what to do. But let's see, if more of us would be willing to go outside... In fact, I am doing you a favor by playing single player. Because otherwise, I would be clogging the servers. You're welcome. Is stash is infinite? Really? Thank you. I'm happy to help. Oh, I forgot you. <gasps> I really... I... I really need to, to get... I think I'll use... I'm already using a shield. Fuck. I need to get more defensive. My health? My health is going down way too fast for a hardcore character. Yeah. Let's, I don't know. I didn't know it was an infinite until now. Okay. This gives us elemental resistance. <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, this is so sad. Isn't it so sad when you just get a new unique item and then you find a rare item that's just better? Dream, dream driving. I wish more things would also be split. Like, I wish that I could send to Twitch my webcam data and my game data separately so you guys could move my camera around. So if I put my camera in a place that you guys don't like, you, you guys could just drag it to the other side and see what's behind. I feel like it would be so nice to have that. Yeah. Or let's say even if you guys want to disable the, str the streamer's camera, why not? I feel like that would be cool. You can be a third party. Oh. But... Does that work well, though? Hold on, I need to share my experience with someone? Wait, what? Hold on. The monsters do respawn. Huh. That's mean. Hold on, I need to share... My experience with the council members. That's nice. That's nice, Hayato. Do you guys want to go back to online so I, I can stop being a hero and clogging the, so the servers? Hold on. Who is one of the console guys? Is this guy? No. Oh, so she's the Do one that well. respects. 
Can I go here now? No. I don't understand. Council Chambers. Is he here? No. Can anyone use the command uh, earbuds? Flamer, it's okay. Uh, use the command earbuds. Those are the earbuds that I use. No, I'm not playing online. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sunry. You're the best. Uh, okay, hold on. You see this? It says that my quest is here. I need to share my experience with the council members. Is this guy from Allium's the council? Allium's students were corrupted. I see. Yes. They said Panion was after the shard. Where is he? Elder Panion was here but a moment ago. He took the shard. Uh-oh. I told him to wait. But uh -oh. he would not listen. Uh-oh. The corrupter guy... I fear oh. the void is manipulating him. Turning his courage into arrogance. He's left. To face the void alone. Uh-oh. What can we do now? You must intercept Elder Panion before the void claims him and seizes the shard. Knowing him, he is headed where the void broke into the city. Uh-oh. I hear. <laughs> Please, stop him. Okay, let's stop him. I only had that update that you guys told me to get in, in the beginning of this stream. Okay, hold on. That means... We should... Maybe... I need to reach the lower district... Behind the armory. Okay. Panic. Both of my quests are here. No, I'm not. Yes. Here is where we need to go. Isn't that where my portal was? Is my portal still in town? Divinity original sin should... Oh, this game has nothing to do with divinity. Yes, yes. I, I, I don't want your respect right now. I just want to not die. It's likely my portal have disappeared, right? You're welcome, Flamer. Happy to help. Yeah, my portal disappeared. Because I left this, the town. It's okay, we're very close. We're heading the right direction. I was just making sure of that. No, that's okay. That's okay. It was just server information. You see these guys? You know what? I think I like these sperms more. Yeah, these sperms definitely do more damage. Do they blow up? Oh, so I need to share experience with the respect NPC. Oh, I get it. Kubla. This game has a lot of good things from Path of Excel, but it's also a lot more than it. Greetings. What do you know about time rifts? Okay. Throughout the story of Aterra, there has been the rare tale of strange portals or travelers claiming to be from another time, often in events involving the shards of the epoch. The story of pass passing through multiple on the same day is quite bizarre. Have, have there been any tales of rifts in the precipice? Of course not. Do not tell me you encountered one. We did with the giant rotten penis worm. Those rifts may be our salvation. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Cool. Okay, thank you. 
Now we progress. I didn't understand she was blinking because of this. We still need to go... Okay, so... the I thought the golden quest was the main quest. Tsumasa, it's really good. It's really good. Uh, Seiken, so right now, I am playing offline. <laughs> The servers are definitely doing better. I'll just run. Oh, we're about to level up. I'm, I'm kind of scared to run. Oh, volatile zombie? Oh, Penny. Oh, Penny. Oh, Penny. There's a lot of things in here. This is fine. What is this? Yeah, it's mostly like... Uh, so, I have a, a blue quest and a golden quest. I thought that the blue quest was an optional side quest. But no, I think the... The blue quest is a quest that I have to do to help me progress the yellow quest. And the light blue quests are the optional quests. If I get this right. Oh, hold on. You really do. So, Vermicell, if you want to get turned on, go to Pornhub, jerk one off, and then you come back to Twitch. And act like a normal human being in chat. I'm here for video games and bunnies. Not to give you an erection. When I'm talking about boners in the game, I'm referencing my skeletons. I am so sorry. Penny, what is that? What is that? It's Salve Mage? Holy panic! How you mean? We stop right there, you criminal scum! Panic! Panic! Okay, I need to definitely slow him down. Holy fuck! He is vicious! Holy shit! This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Holy panic! He has so many cool, cool skills. This is fine. Pin, 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 pin. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> Holy shit. Have I? I'm going towards the necromancer. Panic. Path of Exile Invader? Is that what the invader is? Dang. Yeah, we'll try the new zombies. So. Hold on. Increase minion health. Maybe we should do that because my minions are dying quite easily. Oh, I can't do this, right? How many points I have? One. Four. Four. Shit. We also have points here. Hold on. Corpse explosion. When it reaches an enemy or dies, it explodes dealing physical and fire damage. Cool! 
The yard is good for survivability. I think I'll take the yard. <clears throat> Let's also take this. I really want this. Bone armor. Um, for survivability, I think we do this, right? So, do I only get this yard when I'm near dying? Oh no, it's when death occurs near me. Oh, not that. Well, too late. It's okay. It should still give us shield. Yes, it's only 10% chance, but whenever something happens, you know, around us. So, since we're killing things all the time, it's not bad. I don't know if I get more mana. We'll go this way. Brittle bone seems really good. Yeah, things die, I shoot. And we'll also try this. You see? Our shield? So, whenever things are dying, we are getting a shield. <gasps> Above! Wait, we're getting unique items all the time. But this is completely useless for us. Panic. You're right, Kachulian. Maybe I should respa resp resp respect. So. Oh. It's a thousand gold? Sure. Hold on. Wait, what? I got a boot that gives 22% increased minion damage? What? This is not even... Hi, Verdon, how are you doing? That's so good! Can... can I... can I make this better? Can, can we upgrade that item to rare? Yeah. Hold well on. The only problem is that we lose a lot of movement speed. Hold well on. Let's see. What happens? Okay. We can increase... We can actually increase the movement speed. No, we can't. Can we add one? We can. Oh, I see. Maybe we should add a health regen. Oh, this is so cool. Should I add to health regen or resistances? Or health regen per second? How do I know what's my health regen per second right now? Oh my gosh, it gives you so many details. Health regeneration, 8. That's very low.
That's very low. Hmm. I can never remove a, a suffix, right? Or can I? I would just add this. Okay, so now we have 10 per second. The pink chicken can change them. Can I... Oh, but it can change any of them, right? Why are the boots like this? You see how they're part yellow, part blue? I've never seen an item like this. Oh, that's nice. Okay, good. Removes random. Affix. No, but I, I added a suffix, right? My prefixes are perfect. I would need to just change my suffixes later. I see. I fix this both for suffix and prefix. Okay. Uh, there is a way for me to only change suffixes though, because I would hate to gamble and accidentally change my pen. My good. But now I'm strong. <laughs> you go, you upgrade the node you want to use. Oh, I see. Thank you, Grab. Thank you. Oh boy, I have a bad feeling about this. Stay back. And maybe you should listen. Stay back. What are you doing? Leave me. Run. I can feel myself changing. How your penner's body starts to twist and distort in front of you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh panic. Oh panic. Okay. This is fine. This is okay. He... He killed all my minions! Oh. Holy shit. Yes. Ready? <laughs> no! I used the wrong skill! I teleported... Holy fuck! This is fine. Okay. Oh, did they say kill me? Oh, that's so sad. This is fine. This is okay. This is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Seems he failed to handle the void's power. Okay, I'm so kind of scared. Mighty you mean elder, yeah. pathetic. Happy bunny anniversary, Lua Giant Diablo Five. Doesn't look half bad, Lua High Five. Hey, hey, Elemento! Thank you so much for the six months. Thank you, made the bunnies very few. Okay, this is the second boss that we fight. Should I be worried? Will the bosses become too hard? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have star started hardcore. <laughs> Panic! Mm, thank you so much. Thank you, Elemento. I, I, I meant to curse him, but instead of cursing him, I teleported inside his AOE and I almost fucking died. Repeat. Thank you, thank you, Elemental Diablo 5. Uh, 
god. If I'm going to guess Diablo 5 is gonna be another big disappointment. Okay, so this is a time portal. Did we get the loot? Did we get anything good? <gasps> we did. Oh no. It's worse. Nope, we didn't get anything good. Oh, sadness. Oh, Elemental, I'm sorry. I hope you get some rest soon. Void Cleric? That sounds dangerous. Yeah, yeah, Rillians. Apparently, I can press A to control my minions, but it's okay. They have been doing good. Yeah, you see? When I press A... You see that red click? I'm telling my minions to go there and do that. But as you can see, there are defined fucks that don't want to go. Or maybe it's because I'm in town. Probably because I'm in town. Where the fuck are we? <gasps> We're in the end of time? Okay, so we started the game here. And then if you go to the past, things get greener. But we started the game here, and then we ended up here, and now we are here. Panic. You seem a little disoriented. First what? time here, traveler. Yes. What is this place? This is what is left of your we timeline. We started the game... And many others. It has Welcome been almost five hours? Panic. I didn't see the time pass. I thought I started the game two hours ago. Don't get so surprised. Countless other travelers have come and gone from here. <laughs> I must have looked that surprise my first time as well. Lots Most of them don't last much longer. Jumping around timelines so is right. a dangerous we hobby. The bottom and now we're here. If you want you a better are... chance... You should find your friend, Gaspar. Okay. Do I have a friend named Gaspar? I just remembered Leah, because she's... Is it Leah? No, Leah. No, no, what's the name of the hot lady? He might be kind enough to show you how to tap into your true potential. <laughs> hey. Stay safe. Chris and Jen, Jen, thank you for being here. Oh! Gaspar, who's... Oh, that guy that doesn't like the void. Oh, I remember him now. Thank you. I'm just really bad with names. That guy. Wait. You see how it's shining over there? Is it behind this rock? Why is the game luring me? There. Those are stairs. If the end if what is this? If the end of time looks so pretty, I can't wait until we are there. Who are we killing? We just killed You've woken somebody. Up. That's good. I'm sure you have many questions. Yeah, how can you help me? I see you've spoken with the armor clad woman. She may be flippant. But she intends well. Your potential is infinite. Infinite in strength, yet at risk of drowning in a sea of other selves. Did you know that the... The last that you do in your life and the last accomplishments you have, the greatest your potential is? So... He's basically calling me a nobody by saying that my potential is infinite. <laughs> Countless alternate versions of you have come and gone only to drift away into nothingness. Some of them were strong and their power can be absorbed given a new home in you. Is he trying to penetrate me? With other people? I have been here for a long time. Long enough for time to lose meaning. 
for my original self to lose meaning. I have absorbed the faded selves of too many other Gaspars to count. In the process, I've become adept at guiding the shades that flow here. If you allow me, I will guide a measure of your other selves to you. This will tie their lost fate to one which still holds hope. This? This is my son. Yeah, I will show you his face soon. You know, oh You've no! You've woken up. No! I your but countless of I have been here for okay. I have absorbed if you allow me I will guide a measure of your other selves to you you know what this reminds this me will tie their lost fate to one which still holds hope uh this reminds me of everything everywhere all at once did you guys watch that movie I love that movie I kind of feel like watching it now yeah, this is my son, my golem. It's a really good movie. I love that movie. I warn you, your will must be absolute really? or you will risk Stop. losing yourself to the storm of shades. Forever. Do Thank you so accept this risk? Yes! Then close <gasps> your eyes and focus on the potential Forever, you, so you wish to wield. As I guide the shades to you. Okay, so now I need to choose wisely. I can never change this. Hmm. We can either become a necromancer. So we can romance necks. We can either become a neck a necromancer, a bitch, or suck the demon of suck a demon's dick to become a warlock. Okay. Um... That's how warlocks get your powers in Dungeons and Dragons. One max skeleton, one max skeleton mage. <gasps> 50 percent increased damage?! Ketonic Fisher? Wow. They all seem so fucking cool! <sighs> Take on the mantle of death itself and transform into a Reaper, temporarily gaining the Reap ability. While in Reaper form, your health regen does not apply and your health decays over time. When your health reaches zero... Instead of dying, you transform back to human. And that heals your full health. I, I, I'm honestly loving this. This is so fucking cool. You're right. You're cool. Okay. Dealing fire damage over time to enemies on top of it. As well as releasing spirits from the fissure that stick nearby enemies. The spirits inflict enemies with torment and curse that slows and deals necrotic damage. I think I'll go as a necromancer for now. But I kind of want to try all of them. We pick. Hi. Are we sure? Yes. My dad would pick this. It's permanent. It's okay. If anything, we just have to create another character, right? We're on single player. I will probably create a character on multiplayer. So... You know? Yeah, because as a, a, a necromancer, we can also raise one more boner. So that's good. 
Yes. I hope I don't regret this. Cool. Two more bonus? Okay. That means... Hold on. Where? Oh, look, they're obeying now. Oh, oh my gosh. Go there. No, 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 no. Go over here. Ah, oh, they're so good. They dance. <laughs> yep. Good boys. And girls. New realm? I mean, blessings? What is blessings? What is this? Okay, hold on. Okay, so I can either have two warriors. Okay, this is cool. We also got summon a wraith, right? This fire zombie is so good. But... So this... I have two rates. Three? Oh, I see. So they last, what? 30 seconds? Maybe it would be good that I lost my curse. Because I definitely want the exploding zombies. And the rates as well. You should block archers so you get warriors and mages. Can I do that? Yep. I can't. Smiling face with hearts. We need smiling level. face with hearts. Smiling face with hearts. The Red Queen, thank you so much for the three months of support. Mwah. May the bunnies be with you. Guys, I love the music in this game. I don't know. The music in the end of time is so peaceful. I see that you are still you. That strength will be necessary if nice. our world, our reality, is to have any hope. Okay. Your trials in the ruined era are not yet done. The epoch you hold is still incomplete. Return to the last refuge. Return to the me from so long ago. He will guide you towards the last shard, an inevitable fate of your timeline. We'll meet again. <gasps> no! This is so sad! Wait, what about my friends and family? I picked Necromancer. I am loving it, sex Sexy Robot Waifu. By the way, Sexy Robot Waifu, once I played Wasteland Tree, and... Uh, Wasteland Tree is basically Baldur's Gate with guns. And I was just walking in town, and there was a, this little robot that just whistled at me. And... Uh, I was like, what's up? And then he was like, wanna fuck? And I was like, yeah, sure. Can you believe that the motherfucker gave me a radioactive STD? Never fuck with random sexy robots. And worse, you get to the doctor, you're gonna say what? What is this? Inferno shade. Fisto was nicer. Yeah, at least Fisto asked you, bend over before he fisted you, you know? Elemental, that's you. It wasn't the same game. Oh, wait! I could have pu put a point in Necromancer? <gasps> Oh, fuck. 
But it's okay. We need that you unlock that skill. What is this? Target the enemy and all enemies take fire damage. Talk to Brain Lady? But, but... Do we lose anything? For... For respecting? Greetings. Okay. Oh, it does allow me to respect. Oh, it costs gold. Oh. Okay. Maybe we should take away... Pen. We take away those points. Okay. We have minion attack speed. I'm really tempted to try this. And this. Oh, but this has increased my damage, not minion damage, right? M minions, they scale off intelligence, right? So it might be good for me to put points in intelligence so they're stronger overall. Because then I'll get the three things that makes them stronger. Yes, yes, I understand. You should take some armor in hardcore. You are correct. I should. But... I do believe that a lot of times... A good offense is the best defense. Okay. We also get necrotic resistance, which is good. Um. Mm. Mm, this seems good, but this is below level. I think I'll just go for... for int. Okay. Seven int, because that increases... everything. Okay. We don't have any more points. But now we can... spend points in... in the necromancer tree. This is so good, though. This is so good. Well, let's see what happens. Hey, hey. Hope you're doing well. I know, right, Chrono? This game is actually freaking Why amazing. Why, terror? You've done it. You've returned the shard. What about Panion? The Void corrupted him. I see. See you, the Red Queen. Thank you so much for being here. The, this game is actually really cool. If you have any questions, let me know. But I'm quite lost myself. Even with both of our shards, this city is lost. Our only hope lies in the Temple of Eterra, where the last shard remains. By reforming the Epoch, you will be able to return to your time. And take us with you. Away oh. from this ruin. You are the only one who can help us. Obi-Wan Kenobi, you are our only hope. He kind of looks like Obi-Wan, doesn't he? I will find the last shard. Thank you. There is an old passage to the surface. I yeah, will dispel is. the rune that keeps it sealed. The Temple of Eterra is far to the east. Yeah. Well, to be fair, I feel like uh, we, we already met the version of him who survived the end of the time, right? Okay, so we we'll need to take that waypoint that we couldn't before. Have, have a good night. I really appreciate that you stopped by and, you know, 
hang out for a little. Have a good night. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I know. I really like it. I really do. Now we can dispel. <gasps> we go. I hope I don't die. I'm really happy. I, I am really happy that this game is so good. Like, I had such high hopes for Nightingale. Panic. Did I lose my, my zombie? Hold on. Uh, we'll need to, to level up. Wait, I have four zombies? Oh, those zombies are so strong. Do I still have the curse? I do. What do you guys think is the stronger? The wrath or the or or the zombies? Oh. No, it's not master. It's okay actually. Wait, we got We got something else. Hold on. How do I go to the other skill tree? Here. No, we, we... Wait, we're not level 20 yet. <gasps> no, I honestly think that the zombies are better than the sperm. I'm sorry. Wait, we found the idol. Nice. How do I unlock these? Idol slots. Side quests? Oh, I see. So the more side quests you do, the more slots you have. I see. I think... I think my intuition is telling me to swap this and this. Yes. Cool. Uh, is there any way to miss out on side quests? Like, for example, if you advance too quickly or something. Wait, how's that? Red. Fire damage increase. Fire damage increase would be good for our burning zombies, right? I honestly think that the curse is not doing much for us right now. If you miss side quests, you die in hardcore. Well, then I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, but... Am I even doing that much physical? I am because right now I have two archers. So I assume they take a lot of damage. They're actually killing pretty... pretty okay. What is that? Wait, we got another passive. Armor, fire resistance. No, we have minion health. Okay, hold on. Do the monsters here spawn while I'm in? Can I put any here? Okay, this is really good. Minion damage and attack speed? Hot zombie action. <laughs> yeah. I will I will try to keep an eye for side quests. I'm just having trouble. I ha how do I say this? Since this is my first time interaction with the game. You know how how the game has a bunch of like different symbols, different icons and different things so right now i'm having trouble seeing quest marks because i when i get overwhelmed by it happens every time i play a new game but the moment that i get the hang of it then 
then it, everything will become easy. It's just that my first interaction with a game, it's usually a little bit... You know, it, it breaks my brain a little bit. That's why sometimes I, I like to play games a little bit off stream, just so I get the hang of them and then we play on stream. Yeah, exactly. Kaga. It, especially because I love paying attention to detail and I see details everywhere. So so my brain just gets overloaded with so much information and, and I have a hard time processing what's important and what's not. It's honestly a miracle I didn't die. Considering it's a new game, I'm playing hardcore. <laughs> And I really appreciate you guys helping me find the quests and all this. Uh, so thank you. The next time I play this game is gonna be a lot easier, but I usually need to sleep on it for at least a day. Yeah. <laughs> I actually love the cliffs explosion. I need more mana! How comes my mana gets negative? Is this my poison or their poison? Their poison. Am I even going the right way? I think so. Hey, Nina, thank you. You have a great weekend as well. Hold on. Did I get a lot of damage recently? I don't think so. It's the mechanical overdraw. Is there any bad things for doing that? Very pink spicy. Look! Juninho. So. Here's the thing Diablo 4, I got bored of it when I got to level 60. Because the itemization of the game wasn't good enough. I have been playing this game for very little time to know how it's gonna be at level at higher levels. Right now I'm only level 17. So I can tell you something like this, but based on the, the cultures information. Had a philosophy. The void transcends reality. And by embracing it, so could they. After all, this world was gone. If they devoted themselves to despair, would it welcome them? A form of hope. Desperate. Worthless in the end. I don't have anything like a camp so far. I'm not sure if you unlock it later. But... The experience that I had so far, Juninho, it, it has been... It has been great, you know? Like, the bosses, they always impress me. They have a bunch of attacks. The bosses, I, I have the feeling they will get really hard. Like, for example... Some of the bosses we fought made me think of... Like, some, like the last boss that we fought reminded me a little bit of the Elder from Path of Excel. The bosses, they are very early and they already have so many complex attacks and mechanics that, that you usually see later in games. And I honestly find that to be super cool and exciting because when I get later in game, I imagine the bosses will be even better. So... But again, I can't tell much because right now I'm very excited because it's new and everything that I, I have seen so far is so good. So, but I have, I have heard very great things from friends of mine who are ahead in the game. But with games like this, a good end game is really important, right? And since I'm so far from that, it's hard for me to to tell with a calm heart did you hear somebody screaming angelica's well i guess 
It depends on the time of the joke, you know? If, if, if the joke would be funny to say no... <gasps> Are those zombies a little bit loud? Lucky you. I see my friends like once a year. Path of Exile is your, your first healing? I see, I see. Path of Exile? When I first tried Path of Exile, I didn't really like it. But then when I tried Path of Exile for the second time, I played it for over a thousand hours. <laughs> My favorite thing about Path of Exile, though, is... I almost got the PhD. No, not really. Uh, Path of Exile is so complex that I feel like you're a noob up until 5,000 hours. <laughs> if you're above 5,000 hours in that game, then you start understanding some few things. Oh no, I trash in Diablo 4 all the time. Juninho, I do. I mean, I have been disappointed by Blizzard for a while, but I find that... Your opinion is more valuable when you also understand that even things that disappoint us have good aspects. And Diablo was a really good game up until level 60. And I really think that the biggest crime of Diablo is that the itemization is so boring. You know, there is not many items to look forward to and things like that. Uh, and that's the biggest problem of the game. Of course, the game has other problems, but... You know, it's not as bad as this one problem. Itemization and then gamer, you know. But the itemization up to level like 60 is fine. It's fine. Zero in the game, yes. And you know, especially when you have a game in the same genre, in the same type, that updates their game as often as frequent and as Path of Exile. And I also find that Path of Exile has increased the expectations from people of what a season means. And a season in Diablo, a, a at least so far, it seems just like a reason for them to sell battle passes rather than introduce actual cool things to the game. A season in Path of Exile introduces so much to the game, and it has done for so long that it's just a little bit disappointing, disappointing when they introduce seasons that are so bland of mechanics. If that makes sense. I do believe that uh, Diablo 4 is not uh, outside of the realm of salvation. It might be a great game in a few years from now. But <laughs> meanwhile, there are some actual great games that you can play right now. Like this and Path of Excel, right? And I'm sure people would be more than happy to buy $65 mounts if the seasons were actually interesting. Because com uh, cosmetics are obnoxiously expensive in Path of Exile. But why nobody complains about it? Because the game releases so much free content that, you know... Yeah, okay, if you want to pay $300 for a skin, go ahead. You're supporting a game that gives us a lot back. I haven't tried Grindel. So it's all about perspective, right? But when all you release is new skins that cost $65, then of course people are gonna find it an absurd. Rightfully so. Your fashion was never your thing. I like when my characters look cute, you know? But I definitely think that's the right way to monetize. Because... 
you can't, especially in a game like this, if you want to keep an active economy, uh, you need people playing the game, right? And... And if you restrict your player base progression and you, their ability to play by making such hard entries to the game, you are only screwing yourself over. The biggest problem with Path of Exile is that the, the game's greatest advantage is also its greatest weakness. Path of Exile is great because it's so in-depth and it has so much to it. But at the same time, for a new player to get overwhelmed... Oh, this is small idol! Cool! It's so tiny! So cute! So, so for a new player to get accustomed to everything that's going on in Path of Exile, it's very overwhelming. But it's also the best thing about the game. What it seems really interesting about this game to me so far is that it's complex enough to be interesting, but at least so far, it's not overly complex. It's a, a healthy middle term between Diablo being too basic, Path of Exile requiring a PhD, and this game is somewhere in between. Yeah, Path of Exile 2 definitely looks great. Yes, I'm still early game, but but again, at some point I was early game in Path of Exile 2, right? An early game, everything in Path of Exile is very over now. The moment you press P in Path of Exile and you see that giant skill forest, the first time I opened the skill tree of that game, I out of four my game in panic. But then I got myself together. I took some three deep breaths. And then I tried again. <laughs> you know, it's not that bad. <laughs> it is overwhelming, you know, it's a lot. I'm scared to die. Yeah, the game comes with like loot filter. Again, Josh, it does feel like the game comes with a lot. The game was definitely made by people who knew the type of game they were making. Is the vibes that I get from this game so far. Does that make sense? Because I wish I could say that for Diablo. I think you know what I mean. Am I dead? Was I dead there? Was like a... Death? <laughs> yeah. Fuck this shit. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ! What is this? Why was it so shiny? Glyph of Despair? Relatable? Wait, we need to find a city here. Am I in the right place? I think I'm in the wrong... ...age. Hold on. Has a chance to seal on a fix instead of upgrading it. <gasps> <gasps> what? That's so good! Okay, for those of you who, who are new to games like this, items in games like this, they have a prefixes and suffixes. And especially when you're trying to build the build that you look for for building, uh, you might want to build your items to give you things that are really good for your build. And you can randomize, for example, your suffixes, you can add suffixes, prefixes. So this thing takes a suffix or a prefix and makes it permanent. Because sometimes in some items, there's nothing you want to change. Like, for example, I have 
a prefix in these boots that two, 22 increased minion damage. That's really good. So let's say if I, for example, use this item on this boot. I don't know if I... I I'm not going to use it because it's too good for something so low level. I believe... Experimental, transported, no. Okay, I cannot... I don't think I can make that permanent. But I believe... Yeah, I could make something else permanent. But anyways, if you have an item that's already like full of things that you like and you want to make one of the things permanent so you can add another thing that might be good for you that is great an item like this is excellent and because of crafting items like those that's the reason why path of exile is so good because path of exile gives you a lot of freedom and tools to make your own items to craft your own build in your own way you can also craft your own skills and things like that. And this game has things like that material that shows that they're in the right path. Unlike Diablo, that does not have many things like this. Doesn't give the player so much freedom. And something like this is really, really what makes a game like this interesting. Oh, that's a good... Hey! Hey, David! Hey! I, I just love the little high amount. How do I remove it? Okay. Done. So I don't use it by accident. I need to go to a different... Yes! Yes! So... It definitely seems like... It was really made by Flap. <laughs> I think we'll need to go to a more cheerful area. The starting one, right? I got distracted, sorry. Ah, oh, my head is like popcorning all over the place. Okay. No, it says it's here. Okay, so I need to go here? So I was in the right place. Yeah, we are close. And there is. It's not that reading is the streamer's vein. It's just that I'm a, I'm more focused on reading chat. So whenever the game requires me to read a lot, it it kind of traumatizes me because my focus on reading comes to you guys. So you know, wait, do I have a portal to town? What is happening? Wait. I entered the portal. I have opened a portal to town in a town. How does one do that? I know that this, this is very different than the typical game that I play on stream, but again, I, I have been playing this kind of game since, since I'm a little girl. So I, I have a special place in my heart for games like this. I hope you guys have been enjoying. I, I know it's very different and I appreciate you guys being here with me, regardless. <laughs> You know, it's nice to see... Oh, nice to five! We... We are 19. Cool. It's definitely a more cozy vibes. And 
I know that today I have been a little bit more overwhelmed when playing this game, mostly because it's a bunch of new information. Holy shit. I'm getting scared of dying. But usually games like this allow us to, to talk a lot, you know? So... And those of you who pick up the, the most fun conversations and get me to almost die, maybe I should give you a prize or something. Why are the enemies saying so many mean things? Wait, he came back? Oh, holy shit. Why the enemies sound like whiny bitches? Oh, oh, nice, nice, nice. We can block the archers. Do we have mages now? No. We have three warriors now. Panic. How do I unlock the archer? Mages is a separate skill? I misunderstood everything. It's okay. Why is my mana so bad? <gasps> The golem is around, you see? It's just that this is a very dark area. I can't... Un <laughs> Level 5? Okay, so... Hold on. I didn't get a passive yet. Okay. All my minions died. <gasps> Don't touch me. No, wrong button. Holy shit. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm really fucking scared. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I have some potions now. This place is so dark and scary. What the fuck? Hi, Gray. How are you doing? Did you have a good day? You died here 30 minutes ago? What's this? Oh, nice. Okay, let's go. Now it's when we run. It's the shrine. Okay, we run. We level. We're most level 20. Nice! That makes me happy. Last of all, is actually really fucking good. The game keeps surprising me. Okay, we're going to run away. I also like that the game shows you the direction where you have to go. Nice! Nice, nice, nice! And we got another skill specialization. We should probably specialize in the golem. Hold on. High five! Gosh. Ooh. Sorry, I'm in an area that's very easy to die. Okay, so... In this game, you can pick a skill that you can specialize. So, for example, we... Sp oh, we could specialize on summoning mage skeletons, right? Hold on. Necromancer. We we'll need to have level 5. Oh, Wraith. Can I make the Wraith last longer? How is it compared to Diablo 4? Great, it seems to be 
a lot more complex than Diablo 4 in the good way. Like, in a way that allows players to have more freedom in what they do in their builds. And the game is also gorgeous. And it's... Okay, hold on. I need one more passive. Shit. Oh, you can make it perma? Okay, so... Let's try... To get the Wrath, then. Where's the Wrath? I can also summon sperms. I think I want to lose the curse. Because I have so many cool minions I want to use. Greetings. How do I lose do the minions? Well on regrets. Hold on. How do I open that again? E? No. Oh, master skill. Here. Is it S? S. Okay. Here. Summon a ring. Okay. How do I make them permanent? Is it one of the bottom right? Okay, so removes the delay between each rate being summoned. Is that it? I I am from Brazil, Lana. Bottom right branch. <gasps> oh, this is nice. But we are so far. We would need to it specialized quite a bit in it, right? Okay, let's do it. <sighs> We're actually not far at all! Cool! Okay. Can I... I think I'll... Do you guys think specializing in the golem is good? Oh gosh, great. Um... Probably better than the curse, right? Alexis, thank you so much. For being here. You specialize. Yeah, I like the... I like the thick boy. Let's try... Golem. Armor? Wait. Oh shit, it provides armor to my... Inferno Ara? So, it can be a burning golem? A poison golem? Or a blood golem? Oh my gosh! I could... I could get a blood golem! And I could say that's a giant tampon! I use tampon that my necromancer brought to life. It's perfect. Is it strong? The ultimate weapon, I know. Health and armor. Can... Oh. Wait, you can have more than one golem? Wait. You can get two golems? How? <gasps> you summon an additional golem? Oh, but you're smaller. Ah. Uh... 
Ich mag. Hmm. I think this is good. Your golem hits restore you and yourself? Okay, I like that. Into my golden levels up. Hold on. We'll need to remove the curse for now. Let's summon the ref. We can summon two, but they don't decay. Now we have this boy. We have this boy. Okay. Can I? Hold on. Can I make my skeleton smaller? Nah, I'll keep the big, big skeletons. Wait, they die stupid fast though. Who? No good night into blood golems. Yes. Uh, great. Can I show you something cool? I don't know if I can show you right now. Cause just I just went back into the into the level and monsters respawn in this game. But here, this is the map. You start here. And then... This... Is the progression of time. So this is the past, present... Future, further future, and end of time. Isn't this so cool? Yes, you move through the eras. That's your protagonist superpower. So you... I actually ma you, you actually meet... The same NPCs from different times. They are like, I would say, like reincarnations of the same people. And you can also. The way that you become stronger in certain ways is by consuming other yous from different dimensions that died. So you consume kind of like the spirits of uh, your past yous, of future yous. That didn't go right. Parkland, have a good night. Thank you. Uh, I, I don't have a controller. Did anyone in chat try playing this game with a controller? Wait, hold on. I would need to change my skills now. Let's put this here. There is no controller support. Then there is none. Here we go. Okay. Do I have any attacks? No. Maybe I should lose my teleport. Why are they laughing at me? So rude. But we are very close to the end. No, no, no. I, I, I just need to level up my goal. Because then I can make my temp into It's not fitting with... Oh, fuck. Wait. Wrong click. I'll just take a look at the items later. With more times. There absolutely is a controller support. Okay. So. I need... I need somebody who knows what you're talking about. So. So. There is a controller support. Is it good? I personally never really use controllers. I know that the controller support for Diablo is really good. Do not be alarmed. We are not the madmen. Okay, sure. Oh. I'm searching I'm searching for the Temple of Athera. How interesting. Uh, we would like to make an offer. But, but you would need to compare the controller with the controller of games like this. I know that Diablo has an, ex uh, an excellent controller port. 
If it's somewhat similar, then it's probably good. Wait, is this a dungeon? A palestry from the ruins of the north and the symbol of hope held by the cultists in the docks to the south. If you gather those relics for us, we'll grant you passage. Okay, let's go. Panic! I just got 500 quests! Farewell. Greetings. I just wanted to go back home. Farewell. Ooh, Ikande, thank you so much for your cheer too. For four months. Hi, happy to see you. Who are you? Let's. How did you know? Okay, I'll just accept the quest. Because it gives Go me. On. Okay, so so your you also can unlock those dildos. They're dildos of power that makes your character stronger. And you unlock them slots for them for me your side quest. It says mouse side area up is main quest. Okay. It's mouse side area up. Over here? Diablo 2 charms, except they don't take your inventory. Wait. I don't think I can enter here. It's blocked. But plugs of destiny? Sure, we can call it that. Hey, Joker, how are you doing? Yeah, Diablo was really good with controller play. I know, I know, I know we have a lot of feelings towards Diablo because of the long years of abuse and resentment, but you know, we need to give, re give credit where it's due. Yeah, I'm not supposed to walk through that door. That that door, I'm not supposed to to go there. Not yet. I think I'll need to. Okay, which one of these quests is the quest I have to do so I can go back in, into the past? Because I missed the the last dark zones. This game looks amazing. I I want to show you guys some of the the other areas as well, but I'm not sure if I can just teleport there. <gasps> panic, panic. I also wish you... Do bosses respawn in this game? I kind of wish to show you guys some of the bosses we fought. They're so pretty. And so cool. Arabella, I'm... I'm really liking the game so far. It's honestly... It's honestly really good. And this is coming from somebody... That's quite picky with games like this. Because I have been disappointed by games like this many times in my life. But the enemies are, are just bullying me at the moment. Is the game too loud? My red flag? What a... I know. 18% of... God. Well, Oracle, it's more like they are also cutting for me to like knife and butter. Oh, fancy. Oh, so No, it's, thank you so much for the five sub gifts. Ooh, that's so kind of you. Thank you. You like the screaming? Oh. Is that the hint? I have been hacked that I scream a lot. You won a free copy of this game three years ago. It has come it has come so far. That makes me happy to hear. Nuit. Nuit. Eternal Mediana. Thank you so much for the five sub gifts to Blackjack and Hookers for my bunny. May the bunnies be with you. Look. My items are kind of trash right now. But I'm so... I'm so looking forward to progressing that I am just going to put everything in my stash and hope I get you whatever we need to get without dying. Wait a second. 42% increased minion health? Up. 
Good to figure took a look. Okay, hopefully we'll get there. Go to smack. <laughs> ah. Hey Malik, how are you doing? Thank you, Nate. Thank you, Nate. Thank you. Cute looking hat. They school? Poison resistance. Wait, increased minion health? But then I will lose my shield. Is it worth it? No. We are playing hardcore and we are almost dying all the time. We are very close to an objective. God. Oh god. Oh god. Game is less crafting complicated and more fun. But this is definitely better than what we have. Yeah. Our amulet is absolutely trash. You know, we are finding a lot of new items. And that really worries me. Because that means that we are undergeared for this area. And being undergeared is bad. Real bad. And I'm just walking through the monsters. Like I own the place. Symbol of Avarice. I like necromancers, okay? I just like to raise the boners and to call the golem my son. Just... Just let me play my necromancers. I am horrified because there is a lot of things that are trying to kill me right now. Panic! This is okay. This is fine. This is okay. My minions are all dying. Like little bitches. Bravo Chica! Thank you! Thank you! Okay, I wanted this. Wait, wait. Holy panic. Ooh. Bravo Chica, thank you so much for the seven months. Okay. Necros for life. Okay, good. Good. Okay. Wait, we also got something. 6% increase in damage. We'll lose mana regen though. Okay. This is fine. This is okay. <gasps> I completed the quest. I don't know which one. Okay. Which is the right way? Home. I think we're in the right way. Oh, thank you, Hatsu. Thank you. The dad for the living? Yes, this is a necromancer loving household. I never played as a necromancer in Baldur's Gate. That's kind of criminal. Yes! Oh, Dad? I hope <gasps> he. Wait, he doesn't change. Oh, he does! You see, you guys? Ah, uh, this is kind of boring. You know, I kind of like that the Diablo Golem. The blood golem looked uh, like a used tampon. This golem looks too cool. I can't call it a used tampon. That's kind of disappointing. I was expecting more blood, you know, and less armor. Yeah. <laughs> it's already a blood golem. It doesn't look like a used tampon. Yeah, you see, it's already a blood going. I just wish it looked more bloody, you know? Am I asking for much? I think this skill might be good to add for now. 
Like, have you guys seen the, the Blood Golem in Diablo? It literally looks like a used tampon. It looks exactly like one. I have asked multiple women who confirmed it. <laughs> yeah. I had to ask? No, it's just that sometimes people don't... Don't trust my word when it comes to saying disgusting things because sometimes I say disgusting things just to weird you guys out. Can you believe that pe people would think that? I think I'll try this. Because right now, I wonder if we would win or lose if we added this. They are unable to move? Ooh, I can get my enemies to start the, your period? Okay, that seems cool. Okay. Sure. And also... <gasps> we got skeletal mages! Panic! Panic! Okay, I, I think I'll need to, to lose the teleport. I have all the minions. Holy shit. I can raise already so many boners. Hold on. I can... Hold on. And we just started the game. Hold on. Give me one second. Just so you guys can see... The amount of minions I have. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Much better. Because now you can also tell me if my minions are all done. I am so safe. I am not safe at all. Wait, is it here? Honestly, Lua loves playing Necromancer so much that people wonder why it's easy to explain. Lua just wants to raise a family. No, I would actually hate raising a family. Unless if it's from a graveyard. <laughs> oh! Well, then you were absolutely right. Well... Mega... Listen... When you play as a necromancer... You just... You have a few skills, like... You probably don't have a lot of social skills, but you... you, you so you have to make your own friends. So you start raising them. From the dead. That's literally the entire point of necromancers. You're just misunderstood people who panic. Look how many minions I have. You know what's funny? You guys are seeing necromancers, but I, I actually have been seeing necromancers. But you hear what you wanna hear, sure. What is this? I think that's an icon missing. Love is bunny. Love is bunny. This is not good. Uh, I don't have a teleport anymore, right? Exactly, a steering is an acronym. Oh shit. Oh shit. There is a void centipede. My minions destroyed it. It's okay. What's this? Before you is an altar made by the cultists who lived in the docks. A large cultist has been crucified with a gro glowing object embedded in its chest. Oh, cool! 
Within the object, you see swirls of speckled light, almost like stars. This must be the symbol of hope. We think. And now what? We done? Search for other time routes. Are they nearby? Yeah, I have uh, six boners. Two wraiths. And three exploding zombies. Infrared fly. I have been having a lot of fun with this game. I only played it for a fraction of time that I played Diablo. I, I can easily say that Diablo was fun until level 60. This game has been surprising me in many ways and I'm loving it so far. But I, I, I'm only level 20, you know? So, but everything that I've seen so far, I've loved it. The bosses are amazing. Uh, the way that you can personalize and make your skill trees and also your items. The crafting seems amazing. So, I only have good things to say about this game, with one exception. You cannot change the, the gender of your starting class. And that's a very minor thing on the grand scheme of things that you could possibly complain about the game. Uh, so, it has been, it has been great. Yeah, that's my only complaint. Yeah. So, I personally prefer playing as girl characters, so I'm limited to, you know, the witch or the rogue. They're the only girls. But besides that, everything has been lovely. Crazy Crash, listen, it's just a personal preference of mine. You know, I don't mind playing games like The Witcher that the main character is Geralt and all that. But in games like this, I just prefer playing characters that are girl. Like, for example, I played over 20,000 hours of Diablo 2 and I only played a sorcerer, Amazon and assassin. I just prefer, you know, I like when it's mostly because part of me sees my character in game. like. sees my characters in games like a doll that I want to dress up, you know? So... I just... I just like it, you know? So, I don't know. I really like that in Diablo you could decide if like your sorcerer or could your rogue or whatever you're correct could be girl or boy. Uh, yeah, I did say it was a minor console, you know? It's just like Huzzar, thank you, thank you. I'm actually wearing this coat. It's supposed to be a sponsorship. But but they sent me this and it looked so cozy and so amazing that I decided to wear it before the sponsorship started. But shh. Keep it in between us. <laughs> oh gosh. No oh gosh. <laughs> I don't know, it, it's... Can I be honest with you guys? Uh, it's not very hot. It's just cozy and comfy. Hey, thank you so much, Piper, for gifting Zara a subscription. Thank you. May the bunnies be with you. Yeah, it's so comfy. It's so nice. Where can you get one of these? Um... There is the link in chat. Sorry, again, since it's supposed to be a sponsorship, 
in a few days, the only thing that I have is the link to the brand, and I also have a, a discount code. But I, I don't have anything on top of my head. Torokami, yes. It's that website, and if you use Luality 10, you have 10% discount. But again, I, I'm not showing off. I also have another hoodie from them. It's very comfy. Oh, it's so good. I'm not prepared to do a sponsorship today, okay? I just got lucky that they sent me the discount code in the first time of this stream. It's very comfy. Uh, they also have other things in their website. I, I also got one of their hoodies. Oh, but this is perfect. Their hoodie is also really nice. So <laughs> I hope you guys like it as much as I do. <laughs> Bacchus, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you. Okay, where we go? We go here. No, yes, this is all part. You have like the the finger hole. Okay, you guys, I, I guess I'm doing a sponsorship today. So, it's a unique size, okay? So, if you're tiny like I am and you have a twin sister, fits both of you. But that's for the better. You have two giant pockets. It allow it fits it definitely fits a Nintendo Switch and probably a Stream Deck as well. You know? It has a hoodie. And it's very comfy. It's very comfy. Very. <laughs> ah. Steam Deck. Steam Deck. <laughs> I honestly love it. It's so cozy. But, but then I'm kind of biased. I really love blankets. I sleep with seven blankets every Greetings. night. Farewell. Yeah, you heard him. Hold on, you guys. Wasn't I supposed to go back in time? But can I even? Where is the ritual site? I'm kind of lost. It, it all says it's here, but... You also sleep with a bunch of... I know, I love... I love... I love... I love blankets. By the way, you guys, check out Zara. She... She is amazing. I mean, she loves blankets. And who doesn't... Thank you. Thank you. Zara. What have you been playing these days? Nightingale! Cool! Cool! Are you liking it? Nightingale... Nightingale... I proposed... To Jean in Nightingale. Because she carried my ass... In that game. Jack, thank you. I... I played Nightingale a few days ago. I really love the setting of that game. Really love it. But... I found... That the gameplay... Of... Uh, Enshrouded and Power World was a little bit smoother. At least for now. I know the game is on Early Access and hopefully they will get to that. But, uh, but that's how I felt. But I love the setting of the world. Baldur's Gate 4, we'll get there. Wait, where is my stash? Is there a stash here? A little bit generous. Yeah, well. What did I think of Dying Light 2? I think, Frank, while I was playing Dying Light 2, I complained about the game so much that the moment that I killed the final boss that took me two hours to, to die, as he repeated the same line 500 times, because the fight was bugged, the credits also bugged, and turns out nobody took credit for making that game. That's how much I complained about that game. I hated it. We 
Yine çiğ döşü tamam. Yes, me too, Saki. I, I honestly find that Enshrouded, out of, out of the recent survival games that came out, Enshrouded has by far the best combat. And also the best building system. The best combat, the best building system. Uh, however, I really loved how Power World was such a warm welcome to the genre. So if you never played a survival game, Power World, it's just such an easy welcome to the type of game. Like the game is just so simple and so fun. And having the pause help you in your base. I played in like six days or seven days. 150 hours of Power World or 100 hours of Power World. Uh, Enshrouded, I play for 87 hours. I still play Enshrouded after stream a lot of times. I, I, I was playing Enshrouded yesterday. I was really, really hoping that Nightingale would be a little bit more advanced in the development of the gameplay. Because I really love the setting. Nightingale has my favorite setting of all of these games. But the systems, they seem very early on. You know, they have a, a lot to do in the game. But I still hope that the game will get better. You know. I have good hopes. Because I really love... It is early access after all, exactly. But I, I definitely feel like Power World and, and Shrouded raised the, expect the expectations a lot higher. I did, Zara. I did see the Pokemon mod. <laughs> that, that was a little bit overstepping, and I feel like that's, that's what eked Nintendo. Well written in ruins. I thought this would be satisfying, really good. but I feel nothing. No matter. High five. High five! Arnie Stark, thank you so much for the seven months. Mm. Yes, the building... Okay, so the building in Enshrouded is not perfect. I find that the building in Power World is a lot more intuitive. But the building in Enshrouded when comes to what you can do is absurdly amazing. It's so... Like, you can... You can build so many awesome things in that game. Like, the diversity of materials and... It's just exceptional. It's the best I have ever seen. But Power World is is the most straightforward, you know? It's the way that you get the materials and everything is just so straightforward. Power World is like it's the best introduction for this kind of game. Bunny Stack, thank you so much for the seven months. Mwah. May the bunnies be with you. And I think that's why the, the game was so successful. Because even though it's a genre that's not, you know, extremely popular, it became so popular and so many people were playing it because it was such a warm welcome for players who have never played anything like that. Plus, you know, it has like the paws that they look like Pokemon and... You know, that, that definitely helped. But if the game wasn't so intuitive, I, I feel like it wouldn't have done as well. What I hit? The Maverick, thank you so much for the prime. Ooh, may the bunnies be with you. Thank you, thank you. Hero Zero, I I have made friends with many game devs, and I I really respect their work, and I I I always tried to learn so much about what's back in the back of the thing that I love so much. So whenever whenever I love anything, I try to know a lot about it. So so I can understand why sometimes some games fall short. Because I hate saying that something sucks. Or I hate saying that something is trash, you know? I, I rather understand what's not good with something and why is that? Because then I can give a better criticism, and I can, 
I can understand more if it's really the game's fault or maybe it's because it got hurried in the development because of other reasons, you know? So I, I just find that this understanding allows me to enjoy games more because I know what you look for in games. Yes, exactly. So it allows me to appreciate what's done well, better, and and look for it in other games. Is this worth it? Is this better than Diablo 4? Bregner, if your thing is better than Diablo 4... I haven't played this game long enough to tell you, because I had a lot of fun with Diablo 4 and chose level 60. But then the itemization of the game fell short. But so far, from everything that I have say, is seen from this game, I do believe that this game... ...is worth the money. For the price. I do believe it has a higher longevity than Diablo 4, but I haven't gotten there yet. It's just my suspicion. But again, I don't know. I could be wrong. But everything so far from this game, the bosses, the, the items, how you can craft the items, I have really enjoyed it. But I could be wrong. I usually don't like to recommend games when it's so early on, but so far, it has been great. Like, everything I have seen so far is amazing. I could be wrong, often I am wrong, but I do try to measure what I say much as I can. I know, no, Ron. Honestly, it seems, it seems like a game that was made by people who really knew the type so of game they were making. You are saying that if Diablo is Pokemon, this is poor world? Do a <laughs> high five. Elemental, thank you so much for the thousand biddies. Um, no. No, Elemental, I wouldn't say that. I would say Diablo is a very simple game. And sometimes, especially games of this time, Simplicity means that you're not going to play this game for very long. This game is a lot deeper and more complex than Diablo, so far, as it seems. However, there is a skill. There is the Diablo level of simplicity, and then there is Path of Exile that requires you 5,000 hours and a PhD to understand the game. This game is in between. So, it's more complex than Diablo, and doesn't require a PhD like Path of Exile. And thank you so much, Elemental, for the thousand videos. Power World would be more like the Diablo. But what are you gonna do with your PhD now? Well, you can always play Path of Exile and this, you know? Oh shit, I forgot to read. Wait. Am I talking to one of my skeletons? No, this is an NPC. Where does Nightingale fit on all of this? Riprat. I think Nightingale needs development time for me to be able to judge it properly. Maybe in a few months. I would recommend playing in Shrouded and Pal World for now. Yo, 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 sub. Shorts, thank you so much for the seven Last months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mwah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for the seven months. But uh, what about Helldivers 2? I'm glad you asked. I think that game is full of bots and bugs. But maybe that's the point. Shorts, thank you. Ah, a living human. That isn't dripping with void. Can you understand me? Or are you mad like the rest? It's splendid. You can hear my request then. <laughs> I need your aid in ending my existence. Excuse me? I've been entombed here for centuries. 
And this broken world no longer has anything to offer me. <gasps> I never met an skele skeleton that was suicidal. I'll help you if you give me your philosophy. Best game with bots and bugs? <laughs> what do I have to do? Destroy the three soul repositories and return to me. Only then can my sanctuary be destroyed. Okay. We do. We do. Helldivers, honestly, can I be honest with you guys? I, I never expected to play a game like that. It's just not my kind of thing. But then, one of these days, one of my friends, um, Fairlight, he was like, Hey, Lua, you wanna play Helldivers with me? And that day, the servers were working. And I joined him. And... Uh, it was a lot of fun! It was a great time! I don't know if you guys would want me to play Helldivers on stream, but it was actually amazing. Again, it was full of bots and bugs. <gasps> Did you see how quick my health went down? Yeah, I'm playing I'm playing this game offline. So so I know that this game is also having server problems right now. Some sometimes it's fixed, sometimes it gets worse. But just that this game allows you to play offline and single player. It's fucking amazing. Wait. Wait. I saw all those monsters spawning on me. I'm playing hardcore. Is this is fine. Gee. Okay. Legendary boots? Boots. My minions getting stuff? Panic. Do you guys think this is better? Because we would be losing 22% of minion damage. What's Weaver's will? What does Weaver's will? As you slay enemies with this item, and the Weaver will be gradually rebuked by granting it a new random affixes and upgrade them. Each new affix tier costs. <gasps> what? That's fucking amazing! You see, this game is so interesting. I love the items in it. Cool. Yes, I'm playing hardcore. I only play hardcore. I like it hard. Yeah, Rilan. That's what I have been saying. Like, this game feels like it was made by people who really like and play games of this type of game. That's amazing! High five! Oh, that's so good! Okay, so... Wait, I got the... Hold on. My item just got something. Okay, I'm trying to understand what happened. Hold on! Hold on. It's thinking. I don't under 
understand. I am so confused. Yes, so on top of everything, now I have cooldown reduction. That's fucking sick! Holy fuck! Okay, that's amazing. I Gosh, I love... I never seen an item like this in any of these games. That's actually so amazing. It's so crazy that the item levels up. Oh, fuck. That makes me feel really self-conscious. Because... I feel like it's very easy for me to die. Like, my health is going down like crazy. This shield seems to be better than mine. But we do lose 11% of elemental resistances. What do you guys think? Shit, this is amazing. Chris, welcome back. I'm so happy. This doesn't affect my minions. I'll clean my inventory later. Ooh, minion health. Hmm. This 17% armor? Oh no. Damn. How do I... Okay. I think my character is too squishy. I wonder... I wonder how can I fix that before I die and lose my favorite item. Panic! You should use off... Yes, Hayato. But I'm I'm only using a shield right now because I'm feeling like my character is very squishy. Literally any enemy that looks ugly in my direction could kill me. And thank you, Zara. You're so sweet. Mwah. Hey, hey, Saria. Hey. So, I'm a little bit torn because of that. You think it's worth giving up the shield for that? Hmm. Okay. Should I get more armor? But I feel like those points... Like, increasing my minions damage by 20% and attack speed by 10 seems like the right choice. Like, I just don't have anything close to that. Sarah, thank you so much for hanging out. Mwah! May the bunnies be here. Yeah. I know, Benchy. I know. You Maybe. Can't run from me. You can't run. I'm scared. When the enemies tell me I cannot run from them, when I just finish saying how squishy I am, we're very squishy, but I feel like I'm doing really good damage. You can't run from me. 
Yeah. We are doing really good damage. But I'm very squishy. So... I do get help from my golem. Oh, I forgot to level up my skills. Shit. Should I do this while sitting here? Yes. What's my physical resistance at? 13%. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, I see. The golem hits restore your... Hmm. Hmm. So, can I have a blood golem and a fire golem at the same time? That seems amazing. Okay, so... That's... Maybe I should get armor for my minions. Because the, the longer that they survive, the more likely I am to also survive. I'll try bleed. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying to do it the best I can. If I could, I'd grace you with the Emperor's gift as thanks, but time has long passed. The butter golem's ab ab abomination? Good to know. Hey, hey, how are you doing, Soup? How are you doing? <laughs> Happy to see you here. Okay, I never thought this moment would come. None of us did. Will the immortal emperor recognize me? On the other side, I wonder. If there is another side. Now, I recommend you stand back. Tearing the philosophy from my body may provoke... Volatile. What do you mean, Vola? You can't say that you... <gasps> You know what's my secret of surviving in hardcore? I assume everything one shots me. <laughs> because if you assume that everything one shots you, <laughs> you're likely to be safe as possible. <laughs> okay, but I'm actually really scared. Uh, do I have any skills that I could use to make myself more tanky? This would give me some armor. Yeah, the secret is panic. I have the feeling that if I go through this door... There's going to be lots of scary things in there. Do I have all my minions? I feel like I'm missing. Maybe I have too many minions. Can I give my character a jacket? Can I buy anything useful from NPCs? Wait! We also got plus two health for gen per second. That's not bad. Right? That's not bad at all. Could be better. Instead of minions, I have minions. Mm -hmm. Where is everyone? They told me to tell you, they're settling up the ritual site just up ahead. They're waiting for you. This is a fucking trap. 
It's going to be wonderful. You just wait. Okay. Farewell. Um. Do you guys think? Okay, let me ask you. If I die, my stash stays, right? Do you guys think it might be worth for me to put my boots on my stash and just use my old boots for now? Because I'm very squishy. And I have the feeling we are going to go into a trap. <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> Any... Annie just sent me a message. Somebody in Annie's Twitch chat said... Dr. Zarius, I don't know if you're around, but Annie sent me a message that you sent in her chat. Apparently, you told Annie, the more that I watch Lua, I realize it's a miracle Annie survived the Let Lethal Company streams. What the fuck does that mean, sir? <laughs> Annie told me that I'm the best and I should never change. <laughs> Somehow she saw this as you complimenting me. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that, Zeris. Whatever you meant with that. <laughs> you guys, do you think I leave my boots or do I face my fears? Where was I good at Little Company or bad? I had a lot of fun playing Little Company. Keep. If we die, we'll lose those boots. And it's gonna be really sad. It's mostly... I would just put them in the bank just for now. Because I feel like... My character is very squishy. So... This part of the quest, there was a bunch of cultists that went into a room and they're telling us to go there because it's going to be really fun. I think this is a trap and the past few bosses I've seen, they were really hard. It would be just for the boss. Yeah, if I die, I'll start in hardcore, but those boots are really good. So losing them in such an early level would make me hate myself. I would just stash them just for now. Wait, I am player self-found. Does that mean if I die, I also lose the stash? I do, right? Hold on. Then never mind. Is there any skills that I could take? What do you guys think it's worth losing out of my skills? Because if I had like a teleport skill, it could save my life. How do I check? Let's check. No, no, fool. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure... Hold on. Let's see. So, we are solo self-found. For sure. 
So that means our stash probably goes away with us if we die. So we keep the pigs. And we just don't die. What's cell found mean? Black Knight, it means that I can only use what I find. So, it means that I'm never able to trade. So even if I create other characters, you normally can trade within your own characters. Or, or if you're playing online, you can trade with other people. But when you're solo self found, only the things you ever found in that character you can use. So it's a very restricted, restrictive playstyle because you can't get help from anywhere. What's my chance to block? Hold on. Those of you who have been playing the game for longer. My problem is my physical resistance is 13%. That's very low. My resistances are very, very low. Zero percent void. I wonder if we can craft uh, if I can craft something. Hmm. Okay. What's this? Elemental damage and increased minion damage is pretty good. Have I ever played World of Warcraft? No, I haven't. But I have 15,000 hours in Guild Wars 2. Void resistance. Yeah, but... You know, between the rare ring that I have... And this ring, I'm actually more likely to to replace the rare ring. Because both elemental damage and increased minion, minion damage is useful for me right now. Physical resistance. Okay. Oh, this is tough because I, I, I'm going to waste a bunch of materials. How did I get the boots? Uh, I killed an enemy and then and then I found them. <laughs> and I didn't realize what I found until like yep. Can I replace something? I just do this. Does necrotic count as elemental? No. I'm not sure. I like this music too. Okay. Okay, we got 6% physical resistance. And now we can also get void resistance. No foraging potential? We can add Void Resistance here. Yes, I like this game. 5%. Okay. Let's see. So, 5% Void, 19% Physical. Hold on. Let's see if we can do more. More Void Resistance? Hmm. 
Nice. Seven. How do I know the the roll? Okay. Is there any more? Yes. It's also there is more forging potential. Mm. Okay, so what is this? Hmm. Do you guys want to use this? We would be adding one. That seems rare. Oh, we have four of them. The the thing is, Angelicus, when you are playing hardcore, when you're playing hardcore, it's very hard for you to save things for later. Because if I don't have the best that I need, it's likely the later will not come. I'm really afraid to die. Um, I need to buy glyphs in town. Mm. You guys, can I be honest with you guys? Uh, I will need to. I will need to do some research in in my gear and how to make it better. Uh, I will not. I will not play without you guys. So you guys get the, the glory to watch me die and lose my boots. <laughs> but uh, I think I think we'll just we'll just call a night here. I will just take my time and read the items that we found, clean my stash, try to understand the game mechanics, and then tomorrow we'll see if I die or survive. I. Oh my god, I have been streaming for almost 7 hours and I, did, I didn't see the time pass. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys like the game. I honestly love this game so much. Thank you. And I'll try to do my homework and uh, when you guys ask me anything about the game, hopefully I'll be more educated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Please check out my YouTube channel. Please uh, join my Discord. The only requirement is that you're nice and kind to each other and and please come back tomorrow i i just love hanging out and shopping with you guys have a good night Mwah. bye <laughs> thank you oh man they are so nice stay cozy <laughs> <laughs>